this is part one of the animation. So each frame, she changes into a different module, outfit, figure. There's lots of different types in here. Um, basically, it's like one down here is a sonnet. If it's been a module or a figure or something, then it can go in. Like, there's a Sonic costume in one of the games. <laughs> Aaron, yes, I can hear you loud and clear, Captain. I spelled it. I still read it as Captain, so I knew what you meant. It's fine. But I saw your art as well. Of course you would have permission. I am honoured. They are so cute. And I have been looking into QSMP because of your cute Egg Boy drawings. This is a trans transition screen. So where it's white, it'd be transparent. So it fades over the last animation and then it'll fade into part two. So my old computer couldn't process it all. So I had to do it. I'm really impressed with like past me and these poofy sparkly things. But there are other vocals that appear here. Maybe these layers? That glide past as a hello. There they are. There is a third batch too. We're currently over here. Last stream we sketched a couple in, which are, according to my big list of Mikus, we've got um, Selfish Princess. Selfish Princess, the 15th anniversary Miku. Um, Night Series, the Miku Expo 2021, and one of the Pokemon collabs for Normal. Um, if, and I think, you, did you request Orbit? Because I was going to write it down, but then I couldn't find the book. Was it Orbit you requested next? Because I can put Orbit in next. There and wait until it's coloured. Also, something has happened on QSMP, so sadly no eggs are online for now. What? Douglas, I started by watching a, a lore recap, but kind of just went through it. And when they got to the bit where they were, they were talking about how people had been assigned little families and got a little egg, and then the egg has two lives, right? And I was just like, okay, egg. I just took it at face value, it was fine. And then... It got to the bit where it was summing up the plot. It got to the bit where it mentioned, I can't remember which egg died first, but it was just like, Jerome died. And I, I was just, no. No. It put it so bluntly. Like, this, this egg died, by the way. No! The baby died! <laughs> Okay, which layer? Um, references on the top layer, art on the middle layer, sketches are on the bottom layer. We need to be down here. Okay. So, yes, it was Orbit, and yeah, they ain't getting paid. They are fixing that one year. Oh, so none of them get paid for the QSMP stuff. Is that what you mean? I mean, they, they still get to make content out of it. If not, it's still fun. Hopefully it's fun. Hope they're not miserable. Then again, they might be if they're being kidnapped again. There was like a kidnap counter going up in the wall video. It just kept going up like, this person got kidnapped. This person got kidnapped. This one got kidnapped again. Everybody got kidnapped this time. And then there was a guy that wanted to blow up the wedding, but then didn't because the eggs were there. And I'm like, good show. So he was dead passive-aggressive and blew up a venue instead. <laughs> it was just skimming over and I was like, this is so chaotic. It was like a code monster. Squeaky Clean, did the name change work for you? Uh, I don't know, is the name title of this to do with Miku? Or is the name title to do with my ghost girl drawing? Because, oh, I need to get a um, reference image for Orbit. One minute. Um, so there's something going on with YouTube Live at the minute and it's mucking up, but, uh, my stream title and stuff updates because of Streamlabs OBS. 
So in Streamlabs OBS, it's all up to date. So I don't know, mine could just be accurate because it's Streamlabs in charge. Okay, so it is at least Miku, okay. Uh, to anime, we have the reference layer up here. And now we have Orbit. There's a bit of, oh, Squeaky, would you mind sharing my links for once? Because uh, I can't be bothered. I only say for once because usually I end up sharing his around. <laughs> um, so this time the shoe's on the other foot. Okay. Where do we start with this design, shall we? Um. There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> um, let's start by finding the head. Okay, so I, if she, I don't think she's... Oh, she does turn her head. So the head goes to the left. It probably stays there for a moment. So we're going to keep her head in place. Oh, that's way too thin. That's better. We'll keep her head in place. Can we see her ears? No. Miku's always covering her ears, honestly. It rained. The QSMP info channel has better info. Sorry, there's an e this uh, thing in the way of part of the message. Uh, I'm going to assume it says, and goes further into the story. Also, the farts in Miku. Keep them, but her hand is moving here. So the first bit of this animation, Darren, I started and I was like, oh, I'll probably turn this into a bit of a smear, actually. I could do it this way. And I didn't plan it, which is my own bad. I literally was just, oh, well, it's okay. I'll um, wing it. I'll start with like a jump, for example. And now I'm paying the price because I really could have done with like actual planning. So it's not totally random. But here we are. Uh, so the first bit is just a jump. The second bit is a Charleston, I think. I keep saying this. If it turns out it's a different dance and past me is going to... Future me is going to have to be embarrassed about that. But it's okay. Okay, so the hands have moved. The leg moved a bit. One leg staying in place. Where are her eyes? Her eyes are behind glasses, so... Well, she can still be happy. But yeah, I, I, I intentionally went with a really uh, simple style for this, too. Because it had to be, like, quick and easy to repeat. I don't know if I'm going to do more to it, but if I can at least get this bit to a state of finish, then it'll finally be a piece of finished animation instead of just a huge file that I've never finished sat in my folders, you know? Okay, it's sleeveless, but she's got some really cute petal sleeves. So let's start there. One, two, three. So kind of like... So this one is meant to be a little bit squashed because it's a smear frame. Have you ever seen uh, old Tom and Jerry frames and they'll just be really messed up poses? Literally that. Okay, and then there's kind of like two layers of petals up here. So we do this, then this. Oh, Squeaky, you'll like the next episode um, of Orange is the New Black because um, Hyper actually gets some consequences for her actions. 
So we we like we have TV shows that we'll watch because you know we'll like enjoy enjoy them, but most of the time that ends up being um, like horror, Korean horror and romance, anime stuff, uh, cartoons, different things like that. Um, and then we also like to have stuff that we stuff that's interesting enough to listen to for noise when you're doing something else. Like, think of it like you're tidying a room and you want to actually finish doing this mundane task, but you don't want to do it with nothing at all to listen to, but you're not in the mood for music. Or when you're eating food and you're just... Especially if you've got stuff to do after, you don't want to like get comfy and watch your favourite show and then binge it. So we like having shows that we can just put on and just binge through. But also not. So Orange and the News Black's been pretty good for that. However, the main character in it annoys us so much because so many characters in it have actually sympathetic stories as to why they wound up in jail. And then the main character is literally, it's her own fault. And she's always sulking like, oh, I'm so sad. The consequences of my own actions. Every problem she has, she's caused herself. <laughs> uh, Doreen, yeah, that's my bad. The Orbit one is going to be hard to draw. Sorry. It's okay. They're getting rather simplified for this anyway. I do try to keep as much detail in as I can. So I'm trying to look past the big bow piece on the front. Uh, so it's like the bodysuit first because I'm going to do the rest will be drawn on top last. Um... However, she isn't in a particularly poofy outfit, so I do actually need to pay attention and work out where her body's going properly. But this particular animation's like super squishy themed. So they're not really that anatomical anyway. So it's kind of a bodysuit. And there's a diamond center. It goes up a wee bit. And then we've got all the petals to do. Um... Do that first and then I'll add the flowers on top in a minute. Well, they're not really quite flowers. Do we count them as flowers? Erin, when I play Minecraft, I have a live stream in the background so I can hear it. And when I take a break, I can see it. Yes, that sort of thing as well. Like, I'll do that sort of thing when I'm animating and drawing sometimes. It's either music or something like a show. I can just listen to. Okay. So that I'm not constantly flipping between them. I'm gonna like sketch a general idea of this hair. So it's like that and then it's symmetrical. So, something kind of like that. I'm going to bring it down here so I can see it. <laughs> and swap into a different colour. Wait, how's that connecting to the suit? It just is. Okay. So, when I do the proper line out for these as well, I will um, change line out sizes and stuff. So, the final will be pretty. Like, the others are examples of it, you know? 
it's kind of like that, but I want to angle it more, so we're going to rotate that whole thing once it's selected. But the others have like really, really high detail. If you look like in the hair, so you, you can see the effort that's gone into them. They all have a lot of, like, look at the bow. There's a lot of detail that gets missed in them. Some of these early ones are really shiny too. That's got like the little weird fidget spinner looking thing on her on her dress. I put fireworks in this one's hair because it was on theme and cute. And then the lines in the dress. So like I do edit the line art and do a proper job of them once they're done. Oh, yeah, this one got like a moon and stars in her hair. So I try to draw little motifs in the hair that kind of fits them. This one's ghost rule, so I included the hands because I icon it. Erin, I think it's feathers. I don't know if I'm right, though. Feathers would make some sense. Checks out. Who are you? I like that one. This is one of my favourites. Uh, skeleton Orchestra. Yeah, quite a few. Oh. But yeah, a lot of detail goes in, so... It's a bit messy currently, but... They're gonna be all done to the same quality. I just kind of need to know where it all goes, you know? And to also collect Mikus. <laughs> While my... <laughs> oh, it's just... It's, it's, my... it's easier to add extra detail to them, considering they're different each frame. <laughs> so because each frame is an entirely different Miku... Hmm. Should probably make them feathers smaller, huh? So not actually meant to go over her chin. But well, I think it seems though each frame's different, I can just go a little ham on the detail of her. So I kind of did. But they look really pretty, so it is worth it. Yeah, I like that a lot better. And I'm going to erase these bits. I can't even see where that one went, really. I'll just erase the lot and redraw it. Because I figured I can put more time into it. Because if I was doing all of them in that one frame, imagine if I just took like one of those Mikus and did an entire animation with it. The hair alone would take so long. But I like the detailed ones. If you have any more requests, feel free to drop them too. Um, I'm happy to take more. The whole one of the one of the fun parts of it is the community part because every single one of these bar a very few amount are requests so the first one sorry this shouldn't be bending upwards it looks weird to me i just curve it the right way sorry <laughs> um let's see boots yeah boots next yeah, so let, let's, I have a little book. I have a little book that I write them all down so we've got everything here. I can list all the names. But I chose to do Miku Standard first, one of the standard Mikus, because it's a Miku project, it makes sense. So I had one to announce the project with to ask people to request stuff. And then I just start picking random requests. So my choice was Miku Standard for beginning, Skeleton Orchestra, because she's one of my favourites, and someone did request it, I think. So I was like, oh, that one, oh, biased, that one. And then just now, yesterday, to get it started. So they were all requests. Someone did request a Skeleton Orchestra, so obviously I jumped on the opportunity to get that in. And the only other one that was just me was I also picked Selfish Princess just 
recently to again start the project again because you need to start on something right Well, it is fun finding all the different Miku modules and outfits. Oh, yeah, I've not shared to the Miku server either. I could probably do that. Okay, and they have like a little line on them. And this looks kind of like a butterfly. I will keep the the um, references on the models, though, so that they'll all get maximum detail. Cyber Rock Miku. I can add her in. Actually, I need to write down Orbit. <laughs> um, oh, dear, my laptop just like went black on me. I can't see the screen. I'm going to press the command keys for saving. And hope that saves. That's a problem. Ah. If it's anything like last time, you guys can also still hear me. Yes, you can still hear me. And the screen's back. Thank you. Don't do that again. <laughs> um. So if I write down now, the 43 is orbit. You, you need that, that is the closest I got to organization on this was I made a massive list of bullet points and then 44 cyber rock cyber rock isn't in here yet I don't believe I'm looking for C's that's Cantorus Cryer conflicted a different version of Cantorus sorry if I'm saying that wrong and then catch the wave so yes yeah, cyber you can go in have you ever played any of the Miku games? Uh, Dear Rain. I was obsessed with Project Mirai, honestly. <laughs> Project Mirai on the 3DS. I, I am so rich on that game. <laughs> um, music back on. Make sure that's not audio. Okay, everything seems fine again. Okie dokie. Okay, she's got boots. One leg looks shorter than the other, but she's at currently like moving the leg down, so. But it is kind of bothering me. Yeah, that looks a lot better. No, you haven't played any Miku games. There's a bunch of rhythm games for Miku. And recently they've released a rhythm game that is also a boxing game. Which is interesting. I want to try it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to box. I'm going to press play. And just share this real quick to a Discord. So this is part of the... I think it's a Charleston, honestly. I hope I've been getting that right. But... And there's like a helicopter outside. I don't know if you can hear it. Or is that a plane? I think it's an airplane. It's just weirdly loud. Oh, yeah. Okay, share the Discord link to it, shall I? Hadiri, no, I haven't played any Miku games, but I will one day. I trust you will. Um, let me think. I oh, what what's, what consoles? Okay, I'm gonna do a hair now. I know I have one on the Switch, I have one on the PlayStation, but I didn't like it as much on non-handheld. I don't know if it's because I'm just used to handheld now, because I played it on the Switch and on the 
for DS. Uh, this was part of my issue last time, where I needed to warm up before I could move on to her hair. Probably add like a cute curl to that. Um... Gosh, imagine being Migu's fashion designer, like if she was a real person, like IRL, <laughs> and it's like, okay, now for this song, and they just come out with all these incredible pieces, like, you're going to put this on now. They'd be getting well paid, or at least I hope they would be. Would that look better if we pointed one instead? I mean, she kind of looks cute with the bob. Too bad it's iconic for makeup. Should I do a reference for the other vocal, main vocaloids at some point? Could squeeze in the others somewhere. Okay. I wonder what this is doing. <laughs> is that a big bow behind her or are they like poofy things on the hip. Do you play Stardew Valley? I have done. I have it in installed, I think. I need to pick it up again. I have started it. I started playing with a few friends. Then those friends found out that it was my first playthrough and then they all became like really insistent that I needed to experience the game for myself first. And I was like, no, just play. It was really funny because Squeaky Clean was streaming it. And then he was like, oh, you guys can join my stream and we can do like a communal farm for a stream. So we did that. And both me and my cousin had the same thought to make ourselves look like Despicable Me minions as close as possible. We didn't even organize that. We just both and we both spawned in as little yellow minions so that was really funny <laughs> it's also part way through it I directly said because we were still we were all on a voice chat I, was, I, I said can you change your customization in this at any point or is whatever we choose now permanent and everybody was like oh it's permanent you can't change like uh, your your skin and outfit really I think you get hats or something and I was like okay just making sure I'm fully aware of the decision I'm making and then we yeah <laughs> me and my cousin spawned in as minions because the, the idea was um, Squeaky was going to do a challenge and we'd all be running the farm for him doing all the legwork on the farm like, well, if we're going to be a minion, better do it fully. Time to commit to it. And Aaron, you've also said maybe as background characters. I do. Because some of the lesser known vocal or vocals do shoot past on the shooting star. And no, you can go to a wizard to change your character. Wait, really? I was lied to. I'd stay a minion on it anyway. So there's a magical changing wizard. I tell you what, I'm playing Dragon Quest Builders 2 on my Switch. And so at the beginning of the game, you pick your gender, right? Uh, gender, skin colour, eye colour, hair colour. I think that's it. Yeah. Um, such a diverse this amount of skin colours, by the way, credits to them. There's like 20. There are so many. <laughs> um, really well done on that part. But once you've started the game and you're you're kind of stuck with what you've got until 
about mid-game-ish, maybe, you unlock a mirror. And then when you use this mirror, not only can you change all the colours, you can also swap genders. So you've got, like, three <laughs> gender reassignment surgery just by looking in the mirror. That'd be saving the NHS... Well, actually, I was going to say it would be saving the NHS money, but I don't know if the NHS do that. Can't say. What's on the... It's on the... There's something there. What is that? Some sort of... What is that? <laughs> What's that going to be? And then... Something kind of looks like a birdfish? What are these? That's future me's problem when I'm doing detailing. It's fine. That in like so... No. That looked bad. Yeah, you have to be friends with the wizard. Oh, so if you're friends with a wizard, then you can get a makeover. I didn't know there was a wizard in it. I know you build farms and date people in it, and that seems to be what everyone talks about. So there is, like, that shape, but I'll leave the detailing on that for future me. All of it is really pretty. She's very fancy. Mm, don't like that leaf, though. Feather? That's better. Oh, will anyone be celebrating Easter, by the way? Also, I'm sorry I did miss a stream on uh, Thursday. Thursday. Wednesday, I missed a stream. Um, I was at the hospital. I'm okay now. Um, I was at the hospital and uh, we didn't get back until late. It was such a faff. It was so faff. Such a mess. Okay. In a car, it should take about half an hour to get to a hospital, right? And, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, no, it's a different hospital. I'm picking the wrong one. Okay, I think it's about an hour in the car. But we ended up... Oh my... When do I start? It was just such a mess the entire day. We ended up getting there for 11 a.m. and didn't get seen until half past three in the afternoon. And then when we finally got to go home, okay, we ordered a taxi and the taxi just didn't show up. So we finished at around four and then we booked a taxi and then the taxi didn't show up until around 20 to 7. We were just sat there minding our... Like, we brought our switches. We being me and Squeaky. Um, so we at least got to sit and play games. And you know time kind of flies when you're playing games. Anyway, um, yeah, next thing we knew, the janitors were coming over and saying, you're not allowed to be here. Yeah, he was, he was proper mean, that janitor. He's like, you, you're not allowed to be sat here. It's like, excuse me? And he's like, you're not allowed in this foyer. You have to leave. It's for patients only. I was like, I am a patient. I'm not leaving. I, I, I am waiting for my transport home. Please take your mood elsewhere. <laughs> but yeah, some guy came over and he had like a big go. And we were like, okay, okay, we'll move. And then we moved and then... Another person came over an hour-ish later, I don't know, and was like, oh, you're going to have to, like, leave, leave now. I was like, why do we have to leave, leave? And she was like, well, the hospital is kind of closing now for walking patients. I was like, wait, what time is it? And then we looked at the time and it was nearly seven o'clock. So I was there, like, is that, I need, oh, what? Oh, it's just such a mess. Uh, dear Rain, I have no clue what's on the hat. There's a little squiggle. I know it's like a chick, the bottom one, though. Mika was the prettiest girl at the party. I can't spell, so I hope you are okay now. <laughs> I am now. 
And oh god, that's crazy. Yeah. It was it was a huge mess. Basically, it was like I needed to get a certain type of medicine. But it was at the hospital and I needed to talk to a doctor. They've been so gatekeepy with giving this medicine out, really. So I'm gonna assume these are loose ribbons so I can be a little bit more fun with their positioning. How much of this is shooting out from there? There's also like these little silver bits too. So I've got one, two, three to the bottom. And then one was four. And then some little leaves too. So, oops. These ones are like the ones on her head. So that needs to change shape. And I need extra ribbon towards the bottom. So that's more ribbons and the yellow bit is doing something. They're kind of blending together in this module a bit. Oh, I see! I think I see what's going on. I think if that's her waist, I think her, um, I think she's got like a petal dress like this in the yellow. And then like that would be where her tummy is and like her legs would be inside. I think she's wearing some sort of petal dress like that. Kind of. But it's like really big. I'm going to look up some other pictures as well. And probably raise this pigtail because now that we've put that thing on her head, her hat, she's looking a little bit wonky. So I'm going to make that higher to try and offset that. Anyway, are there any better pictures? Because all of them seem to just be her facing forward. I need a better look at the skirt, please. Yeah, those ribbons on the front are a lot looser. They just look rigid in that one particular image from how they're posed. That's wrong. That's a bootleg figure. Those like the things on her shoes, on her boots, looked more like bunny slippers. Okay, she does have a little bit of a cape, and damn, that was such a more clear image in that sense. So she does have multiple blue ribbons shooting out, and there is like a skirt. Okay. Hmm. How much of this did we get through? Hey. Okay. So. Wait, how's the skirt connecting to the bodysuit? Okay, it's like a little cape, but not a cape. So it's all connected to this button. Brush tool, please. Brush tool? Oh, the brush tool's selected called the white for some reason. No thanks. So it's all connected to this button. And these star pieces are kind of more like that. To do more like that. Oh, it continues to spike around. Sorry. So it looks more like that. It's more, more modelled on. And then she's got... How does it look at the bottom? It just kind of like nicely comes out. Okay. So detailed. Uh, 
gosh. Imagine people dress like anime characters in real life. You just see someone at the store dress like this. How have you been, dear Rain, by the way? Are you enjoying your break from YouTube? Or your content creation pause? And do you have any consideration on what your new stream schedule might be? I've been debating swapping a day and doing Sundays. Potentially. But yeah, next time I'm going to miss a stream, I'll I'll be more on top of actually po using the community feature to be like, hey, sorry, taxi isn't showing up. I'm kind of stuck. So I remember getting in a uh, being in a taxi once because I don't drive. I don't know how to drive, right? The amount of times I'm in a car as someone that does not know how to drive and therefore gets taxis. There's a big bow behind her too. And the amount of times people are like, oh, which exit is it? Which turn is it? Where should I go from here? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't drive. <laughs> and then they look at me baffled, as if I should know because I'm from this area or whatever. And my thoughts on that are, okay, but listen, if you're a pedestrian, which means, you know, walking and not in a vehicle, you don't know where all the turns and stuff are going to be. Because I don't know about America or Europe or anything, but I know in the UK you get roads, for example, but cars are not allowed up. Like a bus lane or a one-way street where you can only drive one way on said street. And it's a case of, listen, as a pedestrian... I can walk up those to my heart's content. However, a vehicle driver cannot, unless they're in a bus. So I don't know. <laughs> I could say you can go up there, but for all I know, you might not be able to go up there. Hey, Rain, I have no idea how, but I'm stressed still somehow. I don't know anymore, and I, I know I don't have an idea for a new days, and I have a paper due after spring break. Well, it sounds like you do have a lot on your plate. You are studying. That's why when you when you pointed out that you've been doing like ten, I was like, that is impressive. That's a lot. I'd say focusing on your schoolwork uh, is going to be good for you obviously if you're adamant you do want to continue your youtube whilst you're studying i'd recommend maybe something small but achievable for now um so it's like if you only upload on mondays for example and so once a, you know once a week you want to get a video or something ready for monday you could make yourself other rules as well, like it could be a YouTube full-length video, or it could be a YouTube short video, but it's a post on Monday, and then it's only one. However, there's no harm in literally being like, look, I've got exams and stuff, so I'm just not going to upload for a bit. Sweet cheese. <laughs> Hello, sweet cheese. What's in your icon? Is that a cat? I cannot see. I'm distracted. I like cheese. I don't know who sweet cheese is personally. Welcome to the stream. We're animating Miku's. No, I, I'm, I'm a cheese fan, definitely. <laughs> so we just finished sketching in a Miku. And Darren, you were thinking Monday and Sunday. It's easier to commit to one or two, and then if you later decide you can do more than that, then go for it. But if you commit to some, you're not going to burn out. It'll be easier. So, Sweet Cheese, I don't know if you know Miku or have any requests, but if you request one, it'll be added to the animation. What we're doing here is each frame is a different figure or module or costume, so long as it's an official 
Miku thing. It's going in. Uh, this is... Oh, it's just saving, and then I'll press play for you. We've just done Orbit. We're just sketching them now. So this is part one. And then after this part, there's a little transition screen, screen. So the white parts are transparent, so it'll fade out on that part. We've got a couple of... Um, Utel, I'm not sure how they're actually pronounced to be honest and then it fades back in on this part this part's only just been started so we've got Selfish Princess 15th anniversary I think it was Sweet Devil Miku Expo one of the Pokemon Mikus and now Orbit's in there too so if you've got a request let me know and I can write them down I think next on the list we do also have Cyber Rock. So this is the rest of this portion of the dance. It's, I think, part of the Charleston. But I started this a long time ago. And just decided it needed finishing. Um, Cyber Rock Miku. Yes, I know this one. It's like I think I know Cyber Rock. She's stunning. He's got such a cool figure. The hair on that. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Okay, I've got like an A posing me. <laughs> um Oh, that's Rocking Stone. I've got Rocking Stone. I'm looking for Cyber Rock. Are they the same one? Did they get considered the same wrong? Because I know Rocking Stone. Uh, Punk Rock Miku was in part one. Recognise that one at least. Um, I'm getting this. Oh, they won't give me the picture. I'm getting... There we go. We'll use that module then. I'm getting Rocking Stone, which is this one. Are they the same module? I'll bring it up now. At least I will do if I can look at what I'm doing. There we go. References. This one. They're different. Okay. Is it definitely called Cyber Rock? Because it's not come up with Google. Which is odd. Try again. Rock and Stone Miku. Yeah, Rocking Stone and Cyber Rock are very different. Um, Rocking Stone keeps giving me Cyber Rock. The one that I've just shown with, like... Oh, wait, no! Rock and Stone. Is it not that one with, like, the blue stripes on the arm and leg? And a funky corset, like a very non-traditional corset. Can you describe it a little bit, dear Rain, please? And then I can um, try and look out for her a bit better. Oh, her skin's grey because the outfit has a lot of grey. Okay. She has like a really deep blue on her hair. So I think I will use this blue, actually. In the meantime, I will do this. A little bit of line art. Ugh. 
I'm tempted to do uh, Alien Alien. But Alien Alien doesn't really have a colour palette. So he'd be he'd be black and white if she's a traditional alien. And it's also cheating because <laughs> it'd be me picking. No one's actually requested her. I'm like tempted to try and like sneak her in. Oh, actually, there is a bit in in the Alien Alien where they pop up and clap. That could be a cute reference I could actually put in over it at some point. I can see you've posted in chat. I'll read it in a moment. Just getting some little space buns in. Uh, Cyber Rot Miku doesn't have the royal blue colour. It has the teal and pink colours. You will get the stuff. Oh, I need to on a phone charger. There we go. Pink and teal, huh? Yeah, they're all they're all the uh, rocking the other one. Oh, thank you for the likes on the video, by the way, everyone. It doesn't tell me who's liked videos, but it is there to be appreciated. Like I can see it, I do appreciate it. Um. Oh yeah, and her hair on this one is little triangles. The description is too big to send. Oh, winter like chat, do you mean? Um, you could try sending a link into the chat. If you can get like a link to send for the picture. So this one stylistically has lots of little triangles for her hair. Which I think is kind of cute. Well, very cute. Like, she's very simple. But one of the things that I have tried to do with these Mikus is if they have, like, a noticeable prop or a notable prop or mascot, I will try and include them. Because it just adds a little bit more uniqueness. Ooh. The module consists of a white cropped school shirt with a black collar and magenta stripes matching the sleeve cuffs. A teal ascot, a pleated skirt that matches the collar and cuffs. Black fingerless gloves, a magenta and teal bracelet, grey stockings with piano designs on the sides and a dark grey shoes. Additionally, Miku's hair becomes more rugged with her tin twin tails. Okay. Oh yeah, that's very different to the one that's been showing up. Um, her twin tails are shoulder length. Hang on, paste in place. And has a spiral-like hair buns tied with magenta ribbons, also includes flaps that lay over the twin tails. Miku also wields a turquoise guitar held with a dark teal triangular pattern strap that goes over her shoulder. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely different to the one that, that's been coming up. The one that was coming up, I feel like if I had to sum it up quickly, it's like, kind of looks like 
the two themes they went for is punk and cop. Like, police and cop. Like, poli police and punk, sorry. Which, if you know where punk comes from, is an odd combo. <laughs> Um Let's see. Okay, so step what? Do you know what is it from song? So, Rocking Stone. Um, let's try if I have the term Google, schoolgirl Miku. There's a lot that have a schoolgirl theme to their outfits, but it really does just keep giving me this blue one. Do we know what music video she's from? What's the name of the song, do you know? You could just send a link with a photo. Yeah. <laughs> I think we better add. We've got a, a hidden Miku. Black Anonymous, hello, hi. Hi, hello, how are you? We're animating Hatsune Miku. They're all in a very simplistic chibi style. Um, They're all requests, so if you have a free, favorite Hatsune Miku figure or module or anything, please feel free to request them. So all of these are things that people have requested to be put in. Um, I'm currently on the second half of it. Uh, over here. Deep Sea Girl, I forget the name of that one. I don't know who that one is. Trans right Miku, don't know that one. Don't know that one. <laughs> Racing Miku. Dream Fever. Can't remember. There's so many. <laughs> I have, in total, uh, 44. We're trying to find Cyberop Miku, but we, it, Google keeps giving me the wrong Miku. Yeah, welcome to the stream, Quack Anonymous. I stream art and animation. This is a transition screen for it as well, with um, some extras. Yeah. So my channel is full of art and animation. We've got... Yaba Yaba Ina Miku Sir Google <laughs> Yaba Yab Yaba ba Ina Miku Go Well we got this one Oh my gosh I know this one <laughs> I was like why does it why why is that really <laughs> This one's so chaotic <laughs> Uh, the best question is, do I include the art style? <laughs> ah, I don't want an external link. Um, copy image. Um, to animate. So we will spare this frame. After all, bit is spared for, um, Cyber Rock when we find her. Because we keep we keep looking up the Miku module and it keeps giving us the wrong one, Quack Anonymous. <laughs> so just to double check, insert blank keyframe on the reference slide. You mean this one? <laughs> you mean this one? I can't see her shoes actually in that one. That's not a good looking image. But it's funny. Amazing. <laughs> I 
It's such a, such a refreshing break from all the detail, I suppose. Do I do I goof up the art style for that one frame? Is the big question. I think. What shoes are they? Are they just orange boots? They're a little bit inconsistent. The orange boots on some and like on that one particular frame, they're kind of white. <laughs> Sorry, I'm seeing all the like freeze frames of the pose from that animation now. The funny. Oh, Darren, you've sent it. What have you sent it on? I'm just uh, going to edit some keyframes to get them all where we need them to be. Uh, insert a blank here. But yeah, they are all going to get into the final. The rest of this particular animation part is a little Charleston, I think. And she does a little dancey dance. But we're getting the Miku's first. Um, yeah. What did you send the the uh, thing on, dear Rain? I'll check my phone. Mm, I don't see any links or anything in chat. I might join your Discord seat server. Hee <laughs> hee. You're cool. Well, thank you. You're cool. You have the Legend of Zelda icon, I believe. It looks like Mina? No. It kind of also looks a bit Splatoon. I'm looking on my phone, so it's very small. <laughs> it looked like it had like the big grey hat. Uh, Discord is... the di My Discord is linked in my bio and should be also linked in the description if you did want to join. Dear Rain, I believe you can just copy and paste the link into chat. So if you just copy and paste the Miku into chat, Oh, I can get it that way unless um, links in chat have been disabled. Ah, uh, Agent Free from Splatoon. Yes. Okay. The more I looked at it, the more I was like, it's a Splatoon art style, but the colours and shape. How do I go about this? This. <laughs> See, if I do it... Oh, you did? I didn't send. What the heck? Um, that is unusual. Well, we do have the description. I will definitely look more into it. If Squeaker was in chat, I'd send him on a roll to go and get it. But yeah, the big question is, do we part way through just like swap art style just, just for this one? <laughs> because it's funny. Or do we keep it simple? And then people, then it's a bit more like, oh, what was that? I don't recognize the orange Miku. And make people kind of like pause for a minute before they're just, oh. <laughs> I know that Miku. <laughs> okay. If you do have any extras, again, just drop them in. You can make more than one request as well. Quick Anonymous, I just got it from Pinterest or something. It's fair. And yes, swap it. Just swap it in. For like, all of a sudden, just eyeball. There she is. Who's that wonderful girl? Could she be any cute? <laughs> it's like a little jump scare, isn't it? I love the way they draw Teto's hair drills, though. Just, like, squares with a little bit in it. It was great. Uh, Quack Anonymous, I think it'd be a bit cool for the art style. Was changed for, like, a single thing. So, because, like, the whole point of that particular one... This of, of like this particular song is it's the art style of kind of like baby's first attempt at drawing an anime. The sketch is way too sharp, uh, way too soft. It needs to be angular. St 
straight lines only. <laughs> Where did we get on you? Okay. Why is this frame? Oh, yeah, this is for... Um, that frame space is for the other Miku that is evading us. She's hiding from us. Back to the sketch layer. Okay. Think. Uh, <laughs> sure. I'm not even sure where to st <laughs> It's like the hands are just kind of like, you have to just let go and just be like, hand, hand. And then they're so sharp, aren't they? Like a V shape. This is just sketching. The Right orange little dress she's got. The one curve at the bottom of the dress. There we go. The wonky square legs too. Gotta get that. And then her feet. Oh my gosh. What? This really is a whole jump scare, you know that, right? Curve in the chin a little bit. Point it. She's pointy! Clark Anonymous just joined the server. Welcome! It's just um, a, a humble art server. <laughs> They kind of like scribbled these parts of the eyes, didn't they? Who animated all this? I wonder if the eyes hurt. <laughs> like from the bright colours and the and all of the movement, you know? Are you an artist yourself, Clock Anonymous? Uh, Dear Rain's an artist. They draw really cute little egg characters. And they've got a few nice OCs as well. They did um, a sketchbook tour. Oh. You know the meme of like artists working into the night on like the brightest thing and they're just kind of slumped to the computer with like really bright anime colours on their screen because they're doing some cute anime girl. I feel like that's must must have been how the artist felt the entire time they were animating this. I love that these aren't even copy paste to headphones. They're just cubes with a scribble in them. Cube with a scribble in it. Gotta put in them scribbles. That's it. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, um, Bei Yen style Miku from Day Rain and Quirk Anonymous. Yes, yes, I'm an artist, but I'm going through art block. I'm sorry to hear that. Day Rain, same. Well, I'll press play on this and we'll test the jump scare to make you feel better. Oh my god. It's a face. It's just the face flushes so quickly. Oh no! <laughs> and it's gonna be fluorescent orange too. <laughs> I wanna keep it. That's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um wait, where's the repeat loop gone? Why is it at the end? I'm gonna cry. What a beautiful addition, honestly. 
All right, I'll let the jump scare play for you whilst I go and look up the next module. It's almost tempting to also give her a little teto, like squatted in the corner. Um, Fei Yan, was it? Dash Y E N style Miku go. Ooh, what robot? That's really cool. That's really cool. I like that. That's like a robot Miku. I'll copy this image. And Feiyin style Miku is in the song Melody. Okay. We'll bring her in. Uh... <laughs> It was such a. I, I, it's like anonymous is like, I am here, drop some meme leaves. <laughs> no, not you. No, not you. Those are meant to be blank keyframes. It's trying to get me. Okay. I do really like how Orbit turned out, though. But once I got a better model to work out what her skirt was doing, that came out really well. Um, and then we need to make sure the reference layer has Faye in. And I do need to take a moment to write down these Miku modules so that they don't get lost. I need to keep a list going. You look up Robot Miku and found this. Work Anonymous, I'm here. I'm just doodling in the background. Oh, I'm glad you're still drawing just about your art block. I hope it helps you escape it. Uh, let's see. So, Orbit's written down. So is Cyber Rock. We just need to find where she's hiding. Now, this one, I'm not going to spell right. And then say in. So, Dear Rain says that you just looked up Robot Miku and found this. Valid. Okay. And the spelling of the other one. Why? <laughs> a B A B A I N A. Uh uh. Okay, this is great. We're on forty six. We're getting, we're getting a list going. We're going through them. What are you doodling, Crack Anonymous, by the way? That's staying there. <laughs> we need to find where she... I will, because I have your description that you copied in, dear Rain, of the other Miku. So I know what I'm looking for. So I will find her. I'll even, I'm even going to boot my games later and see if the module's in there. Because there's a good chance it is. Especially on the Switch. The Switch one has so many. So I'm going to boot it on the Switch and see if it's actually on there. Um, Back Anonymous is drawing their OCs. I usually draw OCs. Miku's not my OC. <laughs> But like most of my art and animations on my channel and in links in comics and stuff, they're all OCs. I tend to find more enjoyment in drawing even my OCs or other people's OCs. So I do I used to do requests a lot when I was more active on Instagram. Do you want to tell us about your OCs? Or will typing distract you from your from your art process? I don't want to like disturb. Okay, so they do all have open mouths. I like how we just go straight back to the simple style again. 
as if nothing happened, like as if that was not there. Okay, the thing on her head looks a bit like a helmet. So there is a straight line across. Oh my gosh! Dear Rain, USMP me Make an egg. Egg me too. I tell you what, though, actually, speaking of, there is a form of Miku. I used to know what it was called. She... She... I'm trying to guess. I used to know. She been Nyanya or something? And it's a form of Miku that is literally her head, but it usually has, like, a weird face on it. And because of Miku's pigtails, um, they're actually legs. Like, actually legs. And that is it. It's terrifying. <laughs> oh, it might be Shite. It might be Shite Yan Yo. Might be. Shite Yan Yo Miku, is it? Am I right? Oh my god, it is. Yeah, so if you would type in Shite Yan Yo Miku. It's a horrible little Miku. <laughs> it's a meme. It's a meme, Miku. It's awful, but it's a meme. Miren, don't tempt me to draw Hatsune Miku as an egg. I will do it. Crack Anonymous. I would type, but their lore is all over the place. Haha. <laughs> it is the way. Okay, I'm going to get a be better reference to get the rest of her head details there. Got a little robo hand too. Okay, so these hands are moving. In. Which is great. Um Okay, I'm gonna draw the outfit. On her sleeves, maybe as standard for now, and then draw the robot details. So, like, I can make it more angular. The hinges at her elbow. Here, and I will do it. Do it. Do it. Draw the Miku. Wait, are you doing your homework? Do your homework first. Do the homework. <laughs> Cyber Rock Hatsune Miku outfit. Okay. I'm going. Hatsune Miku. Go. Go. No. No. It's the blue one again. Wait, no, I see her. I see her. She's there. Found her, but it's like a really different um graphic, but I'll take it. I found oh my it worked. It gave me loads of the other one again. <laughs> so um uh, uh Quack Anonymous, we keep trying to find uh Cyber Rock Miku and she just won't show up. She's hiding. And it keeps giving us one that looks kinda like a cop, but also punk in a lot of royal blue. <laughs> I found her. Look, it's in a very different style to the modules we've been looking at. I'll take it. Is it this one? It has the piano dress and everything. It, it's. I feel like this matches the description you sent. Her? She doesn't seem to have a collar. I think it mentioned a choker or something. Is it this lady? This lovely Miku here. Yes! Got it. Finally, she's come home. That's the one. We got her. Yay. It only took 84 years. 84 years later. Anonymous, she's super cute. She is. She's so cute. Just, I'm just, we did it. We found her. That's the only image I've got. 
the rest are all the other Miku again. Oh, Sweet Devil. I'm surprised no one's actually requested Sweet Devil yet. She's home. We're here. Okay. Our treasure. <laughs> Dear Rain. Yes, it is a treasure. It is a very fair prize. Oh, I'm definitely drawing that on the wrong layer because it's got a different colour. I'm on the reference layer again. At least she's been found. She's home. She's finally home with her other Mikus. I will detail this to look more robotic and angular later. Um, but at the moment, I'm just trying to work out where all these shapes be going. You know? So she will be plenty robot. And this piece is kind of like cuff, followed by another cuff. And almost a letter A in the middle. I wonder what the A stands for. But she herself is human, so her, her costume's really cool and robot-y. But she is human. Or as human as a Vocaloid is. From facing Miku moment. No ears as usual, because Miku never has her ears out. She's scared of them. Ooh, and a very square tie. The A stands for awesome, um, dear Rain. You know what? It's Miku, you're right. Her skirt, what are, you, what, are, what are these? Are these like air vents? Either way, they're pretty cool. And the and the shoes and the stockings. That's really cool. Ooh, and the inside she's got like a tailcoat thing going on at the back of her dress with lights in it. Also cool. We'll do this like so. And put in that part, and we'll imply the hinge is kind of there-ish. Okay. Like a little bit of hair sticking out of the bottom, and then there are some odd vents. And a vent here. And um, yeah, I'm going to need a better reference for the headphones. And the helmet in general. Although I can see the top is at least just rounded. Messed that up. And a big flat earpiece. Uh, hair clips. I was always tempted to cosplay Miku. Or like a Vocaloid in general. I just think cosplay is like really cool in general. I've never, I don't think I've ever actually done a cosplay though. I don't think so. I'm like thinking of costumes and it's like. I think I only ever got like generic costumes. It's like even at Halloween, my parents were always dead boring. Like when I when I was like little little and with Halloween I was my attitude was always Halloween's meant to be scary, so I'm gonna dress scary. But my parents were the type to be like, You're a girl, do you wanna go as a princess? And I'm Child me is like, absolutely not. 
I don't want to be a princess. It's Halloween. I'm not scaring anyone with a princess. I want to be a vampire. I want to be a mummy. I want to be cool stuff. But they'd never really get me a costume. So I'd kind of just put something together with what I'd have. And maybe like some cheap face paint. I remember one year they bought me a like a bright orange dress. And was like, we actually got you a Halloween costume. And I was like, wow. And they were like, it's a pumpkin princess. And then I was like, not wow. I I don't I don't want to be a pumpkin princess. So like they never bought me costumes because they always wanted me to be stuff like princesses, and I didn't want to be a princess. That's not scary. It's Halloween. I want to be scary. Erin, I dress up as her for Halloween. The costume was uncomfortable. I did see your review. It's it's like it looked decent quality, the materials, but I I don't I understand you were saying that it was very uncomfortable. And then there was like inconsistencies, like the skirt was too short and things like that. Which sucks. We you need to find it's like crack down the best Miku cosplay. But then again, you said that you would try making one yourself potentially. Have you sewn anything before? Because that's like a cool project. Imagine it's your first ever clothing sewing project and then you become super talented at it. And when people are like, what's your first ever project? It'd be such a flex to be able to go, Miku. <laughs> Instead of something boring, like, oh yeah, my first sewing project was phone case. But no, it's just an entire cosplay. You mentioned the wig was good, though, right? So that's at least one win. Dear Rain, a pillowcase. Is that going to be your first DIY project? I'm wondering how to start drawing this skirt, okay? Um, I'm not sure how to approach it. It's in sections. Uh, what are them shape? The shapes inside kind of remind me of tickets that you get at arcades. You know where you've you, you, know, you got to know what I mean by like arcade tickets, right? They kind of look like that, and they connect together, and they'll be like rise and then you have to get something like 50 pounds worth of tickets and walk away with a handful of sweets <laughs> yeah the big wig, wig was cool the pillowcase was my first i was eight it's cool eight you made a pillowcase at eight that's really impressive that's really cool hold on You have the wigs still. The wigs come in like a standard size for people's head. You know how clothes come in sizes like small, medium, large? Do wigs do that? Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I have a large head. Get me that large wig, please. Do wigs have measurements? I'm not even sure. I'm just trying to work out how to go about drawing these vent things still. Would wigs just be a one size fits all deal with it? Gosh, I've seen some cast players spend absolutely hours working on their wigs, honestly. I saw a really cute Princess Peach cosplay. Um, where they'd done the front of Peach's hair poof to look like a heart. And that was super cute. I saw a... I don't even watch um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It just didn't entertain me. I, I just kept getting confused. <laughs> um, but there's a character in it, Dio who has these little hair curls at the top of his head. And I saw a cosplayer 
what they did was they made roses, but the rose shapes were made with hair. And it was really cool. So they'd spent hours using hair gel and stuff to do the hair poops at the front of the Dio wig. This is really ugly, but I will... It's just a sketch. I just kind of need to know where it goes, really, for now. But yeah, they'd done the front of the Dio wig to look like roses, and it's just really cool. And I was sat there looking like, you thought of that. You looked at that wig and just, like, considered and just came up with, I could turn these into roses and did that. And that is just really cool and interesting. Okay, so this I think I should go over here. Dear Ray, no wigs don't have sizes, but you can adjust it, I think, with something. Ah, like the net things inside, you can adjust the size. That makes sense. In case you got a little head. Is it Meet the Robinsons where there's a dinosaur in it that says he's got a small, big head and little arms? <laughs> now the Meet the Robinsons dinosaur can cosplay. What a world we live in. This is 2024. I move this kind of like there-ish. What am I doing? Oh, the whole thing is like a 3D shape that's... Oh, they're like cubes! They're like cubes! They're like cubes! Okay. Okay. So if I draw a box... A box... A thinner box. Angle the top of them a bit more. Angle the bottom so they've got some perspective. Yeah, now it's working. And then it just like comes down like that. They're cubes. And then work from there. Okay. We got it, guys. Everybody. <laughs> Got it. Okay. I'm going to take a quick break from that and uh, look at where our leggies need to go. So legs are come back in. Dear Rain, that skirt would be so would be uncomfortable with it being metal. How would you sit? You have a good point, actually. She'd have to kind of like... How would she... She would. She it kind of had to walk too. Like it's very very short, and she does have these tail things at the back to kind of give her some, you know, modesty at the back. So she's at least covered more with it being like short and metal. I feel like the only way she'd be able to sit is if she kind of like knelt down, or if she slid down against a wall. But then it'd squash the top of the legs, wouldn't it? Do you ever get in from school uh, or work or like just socializing, whatever, and you know, you're just tired after a big day and you just can't wait to take off a stinky uniform and put on your pajamas and chill? It's like, oh my gosh, I'm so done. One of the best highlights for me after a busy day is I am to embrace coziness and go straight for pajamas and dressing gown. Imagine how Miku feels after she's finished a performance in this outfit. <laughs> metal shoes metal shoes alone imagine how great it feels to kick those shoes off metal gloves metal helmet and metal pieces all down the shirt with a metal skirt whatever costume change comes after this I feel like this is should we just do a tier list of most uncomfortable stage outfits for Miku and find the worst one. Uh, Quack Anonymous, I'm done with the sketch my OC. I'll be brushing my teeth for a bit. Huh. Uh, there is a... Um, you can share it on Discord if you want to, and we'll be able to see it. That'd be cool. 
we can witness your OCs. I always like to see people's characters. Speaking of, dear Rain, you did do a sketchbook tour. I don't know how long ago. Quack Anonymous, I will. Yay. I'll check it after the stream. Actually, I have Discord open. I can probably just take a quick peek whenever. But yeah, um, dear Rain, you shared a sketchbook tour at one point, right? I know um, Miku actually has an official little pajama model as well. She has her hair up in like little hair buns. Her pajamas are, it's a two piece, it's white and teal. I think she's got like stripy pants and her hair's up in like little buns. She's very cozy. <laughs> Yeah, I could just, literally like metal skirt. Who designed that, honestly? Darren. Yeah, let's do a tier list list. That would be fun. Oh god, that'd be so uncomfy to wear and sing to. Mm-hmm. And stage lights are hot. I remember a while ago. There was um there was a I think it was Little Mix actually. They did um they got the media was being mean because basically they were wearing a crop top on stage, a crop top and shorts, and the media was calling them unsavory names for it. And to be honest, it was literally just a crop top and shorts, and they were teenagers and there was nothing really I don't think there was anything really inappropriate from memory. I've not seen it since I was a child and I saw the controversy from the first time. But realistically, I was just there like... I mean, people dress like this when the weather's hot. There's nothing weird about what they're wearing. But they were being bullied by the media for it, right? And they basically turned around and were like, have you ever considered how hot those spotlights are? And apparently, that's when I learned, stage lights are way hot and apparently one of the reasons that a lot of performers perform in things like bodysuits and stuff like that shorts is something to do with just how hot it gets on stage from the lights from being in a crowded performance hall from running around singing and dancing and stuff apparently work with the sweat who'd have known so whenever I see people like complaining about that sort of thing, I'm like, guys, please be a bit more sympathetic. That they're doing a whole thing. Because <laughs> I, 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 I don't think I've ever been to an actual concert. I've been in crowded halls for like games, and that alone gets really toasty. So I can only imagine, because you've also got the crowd dancing probably and cheering too. It's going to get toasty. Yeah, that's a lot better now. I kind of understand what the shape of the skirt's doing. Uh, if there is anybody else listening we are t i am taking requests so just drop them <laughs> the whole thing the point part of the point is literally to try and make it be all requests so it feels like it's more of a community project in a way like i'm doing all the lifting but I just think it's fun. I think it's fun to try and get some sort of community project going, you know? I've been trying to think about how to do other ones as well. Community type projects, I mean. Okay, so there's like a rectangle in the middle at the knee. Coffin shape? Like here. 
Oh, her legs are too short in this little guy, little guy form for this. Right, I'll do this for now so that I kind of know where the shapes are and to look for them later. Okay. Ah, the hat. This. This. And this is a bit more of a blocky shape. <laughs> okay, and dear Rain, yes, you did do a sketchbook tour. Yes, and you had like some characters in there that I think were OCs. Do they have any more like names or universes or something, or were they just one off designs you drew? Um, FEI. There we go. I'm, not, I'm gonna try and get. A, oh my gosh! Someone's built for yeah now a mega uh, Lego. That's impressive. Are any of these gonna give me a better look at her headphones? Oh, perfect! That one's actually from the game. Oh, the side bit on the side of her head is just normal. Okay, I can do that. The parts of her speakers on the side of her head are her normal speakers. So that's... <laughs> made it pretty easy. Uh, dear Rain, um, I don't know. They are just uh, here living as people. Okay. Oh. In the sketchbook. That's fair. I have a lot of characters that literally just exist. I like to do, I like to draw. So a lot of the drawings aren't OCs or anything I want to repeat. They're literally just something I drew for fun. And that's what their life is. So that's totally valid too. I was just curious because if they were like OCs, OCs, I was like, oh, wanna wanna talk about them? Okay, and this hand needs to be between there and there, so this hand can go there. This hand wants to be oh between ah motion blur hand. <laughs> and then it goes into like the mix. Okay. What if we like try and continue the motion blur a bit? Would that work? It does work. Okay. You just need to know where her leggies are going. Old place with this one. And this one is still coming down a bit. Okay. Just to try and get those in place. Economist, I have a funny idea. Lol, imagine one frame where it's just. Germa with a meek. The rule is it has to be a meek, I'm afraid. We already have this jump scare. It's fine. We have enough jump scares. It does work, especially the eyes and the fact that it's going to be fluorescent orange. There is a Sonic Miku as well. So if it, if it's been in an official model, an official music vid video, so if it's a music video, a figurine or a module, um, or like merchandise or advertising that's official, then it can go in the video. It gets it gets a pass, which does actually beg the question because I've been debating this. So one of my friends watches Dangan Romper, and. There is a person who released a bunch of Dangan Romper 
themed songs about the characters, but they're with Vocaloid instruments. It doesn't have any official art for the thing. But the question is, would it still count or would it not count if I drew Miku dressed like one of those Danganronpa characters because someone did release Danganronpa songs with it? Would that count or would it be cheating? Hmm. Quack Anonymous. Uh, I'm just giggling there. I'm doing, what oh, about the Fall Guys, Miku? Oh, I forgot. That feels like a fever dream, actually. Fall Guys, Miku. Damn, you're right. Oh, no. You know, it's an official release of Miku, so yeah, by stipulation and rules, this Miku is, is a pass, it's valid, because the other game collab one, you know, got in there, we have a normal type Pokemon Miku somewhere, here, so yeah, Fall Guys Miku, would would count if it's being officially requested. It'd be another it'd be another jump scare though. <laughs> the little gasp. It, 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 it's it's just, you know, no one's requested Fall Guys Miku, so there's no Fall Guy Miku yet, but you know, to answer your question. Yeah. It counts. It's, it's official. And it's Hatsune Miku. <laughs> You're just like gonna end up googling like obscure Miku collabs. Didn't she have one with like a car retailer at one point as well? Wait, ah, is that an official request for cup for uh, Fall Guys Miku? Do we want to put it in? Here. As the next one here. Oh, do you want it like further along? So then it'll go jump scare one, jump scare two. Or jump scare one, and then you get a bit of a wait, and then when you think you're safe, jump scare again with a little potato fall guys at the bottom. I'll let you choose. Do we want to like whiplash someone and get them twice back to back or do you want me to move it further down I'll look up weird pictures. once you let me know I can pick a frame and I'll write it down on that frame because the book that I have also has a list of numbers so it has numbers 1 through 100 because the goal is to have at least 100 so I'd be able to write down like um I don't know, frame 57, specifically. Oh, anonymous, do it. Okay, we'll put in, we'll put in Fall Guys Miku. Do you want it back to back with this one next? Or do you want it further down? Should we whiplash with Yabobina? Double, double whammy. Right when people are thinking, what was that? <laughs> Miku jump scare. It's not even like it's a horror Miku, it's just still a jump scare though. See this this is the beauty of uh having the requests going. <laughs> there you go, that's cute. Little, well, they kind of look like little Pikachu ears, like little bunny ears. I'll bring them down slightly. No, wait, 
they're actually in the good place be a good place being so high up. Yes, after you think you're safe. Okay. Oh guys, me. <laughs> And then jump scare. You should also do the Domino's pizza meme. <laughs> Domino. <laughs> this is this is really fun. Uh, I'll try googling Domino's pizza me cute. Well, there's a few iterations. Yes. Um, if you send me a link to the specific one you mean, there's a few iterations of it here. So I don't know which one. Oh, on Discord as well. Um General? Oh, I see you new in the Discord as well. Squack Anonymous. I send you a quick hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dear Rain, just all the questions. Here is a safe and good one on the 10th anniversary, Miku. It's Rainbow Thief. Oh. Okay, right. So it will go. I'll write it down. <laughs> we do have a couple of anniversaries, so I will double check which one. I think no, the one you mean, though, actually. Guys, amazing! And tenth anniversary. Tenth anniversary, Miku. Go! Yay! The one with the big bow. Yes, I knew it was this one. Oh, she's so pretty. He's so pretty. Oh, there's a really gorgeous Miku figure, right? I'm saying this because there's a couple of figures that have come up to. She has, like... What? Here's a Domino's Pizza Miku. Is she kind of cute, though? Her tie has the word... F oh, it's feet. Okay, I thought the tie said feast. Like a meat feast or something on a pizza, like pepperoni pizza. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Okay, Domino's. We've got a nice obscure on Dom. And O's. Pizza. And we've got the 10th anniversary coming in as well. Brilliant. We're on 49. We're almost at halfway. That's pretty good. So they will all be done to the same high quality detail the rest have regarding colours. Um, just to reassure people. It's just, obviously these are sketches. Oh, that looks awful. That looks awful. Right, what kind of shape do I even want? Do I want them in kind of like a that shape? I think I do. So we need it, we need the volume. I'm gonna pick the solid shape and then I'll go over and add the, sp the spiky parts in a moment. Just making it easier on myself. I wonder what game this reference image is from because it looks like a game. Darren, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we'll move a cheek down. This one's very cute. I do like this one. This one was worth the effort. Potentially give her a, a guitar. Uh, Marionette Miku. 
all yeses. Okay. Ooh, I might know which one you mean, actually. I might have seen that recently on Project Diva. Not Project Diva, one of them anyway. One of the Miku games. Oops. Marionette Miku, huh? Real. Let's see. Oh, yay! Yes, yes, uh, from cat food. <laughs> My cat just looked at me like, hmm, food? Yes, the cat food one, the one that looks kind of like a clown. Gorgeous, amazing. And we're definitely doing it with the mask, right? Obviously. Obviously we're using the mask. <laughs> uh, I'll write it down for 50. And now we're on 50. We made it to halfway through. Congratulations. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I, was, I, I was, I know in the stream, I was like, can we make it to 50 today? Can we make it to halfway? It's like, we absolutely can make it to halfway, apparently. Thank you both, Darren and Quack Anonymous there. Came in clutch. Even though some of them were fall guys. <laughs> uh, there's a Battle Cats Miku collab? Really? Right, I'm just going to press play so you've got something to look at. Never mind, it's saving. There we go. Battle Cats. Really? Sorry, the first one that came up was like a gorilla battle cat with a Miku wig on it. There's so many variations of Miku in battle cat. I don't know which one's official or not. Oh, do you two want me to put in the battle cat? <laughs> oh my gosh, Fabulous. So fabulous. <laughs> Miku! Who is your, like, manager getting you all these collabs and jobs and can they work for me? Are they free for new clients, honestly? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll write it down. 51 Battle Cats. Nice. We're now over halfway. <laughs> Sorry, that one still makes me giggle. It's great. Do the little round cat. Okay. <laughs> I know I know which one you mean. Not the awful gorilla. Oh, actually, on some of them, for battle cats, on some of them, where well, we've got an example, here, it's got the little ram. So on some of them, I mentioned I like to do props, like this one too. And sometimes I give them... Like this one's got the hands for Ghost Rule. And um, Pinocchio P has their mascot with her. So I like to include little guys if they have a little guy. And props in their hands if they've got anything particularly iconic that suits the design. I could add an extra Battle Cat with the Battle Cat one, based on that logic. Quack Anonymous wants the little round. Okay. Dear Rain and Quack Anonymous seem in total agreement for a Battle Cats Miku. She will be in. Don't worry. Promise. But we could give her an extra Battle Cat because I have drawn like little guys for some of them. So we could put something else in with her. Honey Bear Miku? Question mark. I'm just finding more and more. Okay. Honey Bear Miku. Oh, Quack Anonymous has found something. Should I be frightened? Honey Ben Miku. Oh, she's cute! Excuse me? 
She's cute. Oh my gosh. What? There's a pushing Vocaloid collab. I am frightened. I don't know how this is going to look. Is it just pushing and a wig? Hang on, I'm going to write down Honey Bear. I've got Honey Bear. There was a special Miku and Pusheen with a wig. Okay. Um, What was it? Pusheen? Pusheen? Yeah, Pusheen, Miku. Oh, let's see. <laughs> I see the cat. But yeah, well, Miku, Miku gets like a cute little pink maid dress with like the Pusheen ears and tail. So I could draw both of them. I could draw because Mikus get little guys. So if I made the big one the dress Miku, I could actually also include the wick pusheen Miku. Just a pusheen in a wig. It's cosplaying. Oh my gosh, maybe this pusheen got the same cosplay where they were like... I'm not too thrilled about this, the, the cosplay, but I love the wig. I'll use the wig. <laughs> that was this pusheen. They agree. Pack Anonymous. Yippee! My mood let me play Fortnite. Uh, pushing for 53 is, is, is pushing. And before that is Honey Bear. Oh my gosh, the Domino's Miku. This is this is becoming very fun, I'll be honest. I like how it's like really serious and like partway through you just slowly start getting here and it's like just like loads of obscure Miku's all of a sudden. I think the art style change is the biggest like red flag. <laughs> What's just happened? Okay, so I'm going to start adding some more details to this now. I'll try and keep the shape going. Yeah, that worked a lot better <laughs> than trying to just, like, freehand it. Dear Rain's been quiet for, for, a, for a moment there. I can imagine them just, like... Deep diving lists of obscure Miku costumes. Also, the Muse Dash Miku. Muse Dash. I'll check in a moment. Oh, by the way, do you have any uh, favorite Miku songs? A little off topic. I'm just curious. My brain just was like, mm, I wonder what their favorite songs actually are. I really like Skeleton Orchestra was one of my favorites for a while. Um, but I really like uh Melty Land Nightmare and Kimi no Tion. Tion Tion. I've not seen it written down for a while, but it's on my playlist. <laughs> okay, Muse Dash. Muse Dash Miku Go. Ooh. Oh, she's wonderful. Now I know what this game's called. <laughs> Keep seeing art for this game, and I'm, whenever I see art and gameplay, it's always in like Japanese. So I don't know what it's called. <laughs> you know what it was called. <laughs> Ages. Now I know. Dear Rain, you like Hatsune, all my Hatsune Miku songs. And also Hatsune Miku Fly. Okay, Muse Dash. Oh no, we've got some laughing coming from Quack Anonymous. I'm worried. <laughs> I 
Muse Dash and Miku Butterfly. Is it a difference of magnets? When I think of Miku and butterflies, I think a magnet. She's cool, but there's two. There's one that's green and black and one that comes in pink. Which one? Please tell me it's the one that comes in pink. <laughs> Butterfly is an outfit. I've got a figure. Is this what you mean? Is this what you mean? Hang on. It isn't meant to go on this frame, but I'll just like copy paste it in so you can see. Oh, the transparency has gone dead low. Can you see it? Do you mean this? This figure? She's cool. She's pretty. Okay, now this one has gloves. <laughs> um, it's too bad I don't have a higher quality reference image, but this is the best I've got currently. So she, she do have gloves and this, I think, a skull here in her. This one looks more like a mushroom now, though. Make it a bit bigger. So she's got what looks like little skulls. But the skull thing might be a bracelet. So we're going to just make it a bracelet over the, over the thing. No, it's not that one. Okay, but that is a really pretty figure anyway. Just saying. Whoop. Okay. And then there's like line details, but like future me will do those details. Crop top. Crop top has lines on it too. Cool piano tights. Oh, they're not tights. Loafers, because of course they're loafers. I don't know what it is with anime and loafers. It's just, there's always loafers. <laughs> Ooh. I, can I, like, shape that a little bit so it's a bit more foot-like? You know what? Future me can shape it so it's a bit more foot-like. Um, And, like, piano keys as well. Again, future me can do those details better. A problem for future me. Ooh, and there's like a pulse symbol going through her skirt as well. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. You know, I saw a Miku cosplay where they rigged the whole thing with LED lights. That was incredible, gotta tell you. It was all full of like fiber optic cables and LEDs and it all lit up. It was so cool. And it had translucentness where they've used um clear plastic and lightly dyed it to get colour fades on the plastics and stuff. It was incredible, honestly. That was on TikTok somewhere. Um Hatsune Miku Haruka style. I'll do this one instead. Uh, Maru, yeah. Oh, she's cute. She reminds me of a Sylveon. Is it pink, blue, and white? With a big bow on the front, little stars? She's really cute. I think I'll probably work on that skirt a bit more, but that's for future me. I do need to move this lovely lady uh, to the correct layer because she's on the wrong layer. 
She should not be on the art layer. She should be on the... That layer. <laughs> okay. Look at them all go. Okay, so the next one on this list after Fei Yen was full, guys. <laughs> uh, yes, so it is this one. Okay, I'll write down Tarka style. Thank you. Yeah, Baba Yuna Miku haunts me in my dreams. Oh, Bunny Ears Hoodie Miku. We might have that one. I'll check. I'll Google. Hoodie Ears Hoodie Miku. We have this one. Uh, I will show her to you. I'm pretty sure she's there. Haha! Beat you to it! Beat you to it! <laughs> okay, it's Fall Guys time. As well? Fall Guys Miku, come back. Hello. She's like posing at me. <laughs> uh... Okay, she's, she's really shiny though. She looks like a robot. She's, it's well modeled. It looks good, considering she's a potato now, but yeah. <laughs> Copy image. So many Mikus, so little time. This is when I do end up extending the animation, just to get more mean Mikus in. So right when you think you're safe from this one, Boom, the Fall Guys Miku. I'm going to do a little bit of keyframe work. Set them up ready for the Miku. So they need to be longer, and then they all need to be longer by one. And then we're going to unlock the reference layer, go to the reference layer, and boom! Here comes the girl. Hello, girl. Should we make it short as well? Or should we make it tall? What's scarier? What's more frightening? I feel like if I make it tall, it's giving seven foot Peppa Pig. <laughs> um, for context, um, the Peppa Pig Wikipedia at one point, I don't know if it still does, said Peppa Pig is seven foot tall. And if you don't know how tall that is, that means that she's like ceiling height, if not taller in a room, depending on the room. It means that essentially her parents would be too tall to fit in a house. That's terrifying. <laughs> Very short. Dear Rain. Okay. Kieran's also said, oh, Quack Anonymous, what about all the PJs, Miku's? And dear Rainports, Ari Fure Miku. You sure you beat me? Hmm, I don't know. I'll type it. Ari Fure Miku. Wait! Have I not done this one yet? Slow motion, right? I don't think I've done this one. I really don't, honestly. I've done this one. I've done other Pinocchio P. Like that one. I think I've only got one Pinocchio P on this. Yes! <laughs> one of my favourites. A classic. Is that one slow motion? No, that one's um, U UFO. Something UFO. She's an alien in that one, isn't she? On slow motion. I'll write it down anyway. 
This I'm like going for my Pinocchio P catalog in my head. That means I get to draw another little guy. Dear Ren's also said to draw them very short. Oh yeah, and Quack Anonymous, you asked about the pajama Mikus. I don't have any pajama Mikus yet. Oh, there's quite a variety. There's um the white and teal one. Uh I like that one. That one's from that one's in um Project Mirai too. And there's also a pajama figurine where she's wearing a bunch of pink. So there's a couple of options on that one. Oh, I know it's not opening. Oh, that was a jump. That was a scare. Clark Anonymous, you meant Project Sekai. Pajama Miku Project Sekai. Let's see. Huh. But those sound cool too. PJ S K. Uh, I'm getting lots of different Mikus if I type in the Project Sekai. Blah. Sorry, Project Sekai. None of them are consistent, so I don't know which Miku is supposed to be here. Can you narrow it down at all? And then I'll put in this dumpy little Miku. <laughs> oh my gosh. Miku egg? Question mark? Blech. Wait, now what kind of shape is that? They're kind of like... Oh, that's a lot longer than what I was doing, actually. Okay. So, they're not that round. They're more tubes. Yeah, they are. They're more tubular. Okay. Breathe with you, Miku. Then you've put like <laughs> the emojis after is making me concerned. She's pretty. Uh white shirt, flower crown, and black and red on the skirt and pants. Not pants, stockings. Yeah, they're more of an oval. Kind of more like that. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, okay. And it's my, it needs to somewhat be in the same pose. So it needs its hands in front. So it need its hands like that. Okay, and they've interpreted the skirt kind of like a more more of a scallop shape. Okay. You can use that scallop shape to not scallop shape, the uh, skirt shape even. Okay. <laughs> Anonymous, I'm giggling. It's so short. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, dear Rain, don't worry. I'll find a weird one. Oh my gosh. Concern. This is when I find out there's like a Garfield Miku or something. Would, would anyone be surprised at this rate if there was Garfield Miku? I can see that, you know? Okay, I'm gonna work from the base up. The feet are pretty solid, so the, so the, the feet kind of just are like they match the style it's going in so far. So gonna be the only consistency is the little feet. <laughs> okay, and then her long ass collar that. Uh, the size of that. Okay. 
Oh, I can't wait to show Squeaky this. I can hear Squeaky. He's playing a game with someone in the other room, right? So he's not paying attention to the stream, which means when he gets back, I'm going to be able to just press play. And he's just going to get whiplash. And that's going to be funny. <laughs> okay, they're a bit thicker. Um, it still has hand arms. So maybe I don't like that. Oh my gosh. What is this? This is kind of a beast. Hatsune Miku Ninja collab. Oh, nin Ninjala collab. For a minute, I thought you put Ninjago. Was that Lego Miku? Okay, briefly for you, I need to write down. And now we have a Ninjalo Miku. Okay. Oh! Are they figures or something? Really model? They remind me of um the little kid characters from Sugar Rush in Wreck It Rock. They remind me a lot of the Sugar Rush kids. I can't tell if they're meant to be figures. Is that one weird? It is definitely different. It's just an interesting art style. I'm like, I'm like, because they're rendered in a way that makes them look like figurines. Well, I don't think they are figurines, but they look like blind box dolls or something, don't they? Oh my gosh, Egg Miku. Not Egg Miku, Egg Miku. Okay. Uh... Oh, this one actually has the tattoo as well. Sorry, I hiccuped. <laughs> Not sure why I'm apologising for that, just in case you did hear a weird noise. The mic probably blurted it out, though. Um... The way that people are going to have to go back through the video to be like, the hell was that? <laughs> what did I just see with my own eyes? <laughs> okay, and then her collar is going over the arm on this thing. Okay, crack Anonymous, I'll be gone for a bit. i got to go do something. Okay, when you get back, okay... The full guys make will probably be complete if you come back, that is. Um, so that's something to look forward to. <laughs> Have fun. It was nice seeing nice having you here. It's been very fun. Thank you. Therein, there is a Hatsune Miku egg form. I repeat. A Hatsune Miku egg form. Is there really an official Hatsune Miku egg? Oh, I wonder if they had a Tamagotchi collab. I feel like that's something they could they could collab. I like Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi bracelet. I think I actually have it on in one of the pictures I took for an icon. Ooh. So it's called Piyokuru. I'm going for it. Piyokuru Miku. Miku. Go, go, go. Oh, she's. What are those? Are they figures. They are figures, I think. Cute. I feel like I want to like try its head. It looks like it would be a bobble head. 
or like it pushed closed. There is officially a Hatsune Miku egg. You found it, dear Rain. This is the product for you, right? <laughs> do you want do you want it on the list? Oh my god, look how short. Look how short. Dear like, Rain, look at this. It's like tall. The tall. Absolutely tiny. <laughs> oh no. He shrinks so well. Oh my gosh, she's so short. Okay, okay. This this is great. Give her her little yes on the list. Okie dokie. Fifty eight. He yo. Egg. Egg Miku. Incredible. We've gotten like over 10 extra Mikus here. The short scare. What's worse is it's like, because it's so short, imagine you just catch a glimpse of it and you're like, oh, what was that? And then you go to the effort to rewind the video to go and see what it was, right? And your effort was for Fall Guys. You just get the full guy. I'm gonna make it wink because that's kind of cute. It's pretty cute. Um, she does have a microphone. But we're gonna have to do that hair first, I think. Romeo X Cinderella just came on and it's such a bop, honestly. I wonder how many people are running around on Fall Guys right now as Miku. It's so chunky to the hair. It's very, very stylized. I like it. Fall Guys came out very quickly after Among Us as well. Which means that in another universe, there's a chance we got an Among Us Miku. Does she have the hair pieces? Um, I need to message. Oh my god! Okay, I just need to do just. Uh, <laughs> dear rain, when the dear rain is here, they will bring art to the table. They wrong pronouns. <laughs> Don't worry. I did read them in the bio. Uh, what was I doing? What was I doing? Oh yeah, I need to remind Squeaky to do something with the cats. Oh! Squeaky! My game crushed. Oh, look, a fall guy. <laughs> look! Show this. Uh, dear Rain, I see headphones and the hair tie thing. Yeah. I was just sending a message to Squeaky real quick. But then Squeaky appeared here. Dear Rain says hi, Squeaky. Okay. Her hair doesn't go all the way to the floor here. There we go. 
Incredible. Amazing. Wow. We need to get the next one in after it. So we can get the full effect of, like, full Miku. Ball guy Miku. Back to normal. The month after this was... Domino's Pizza Miku. Squeaky, you have missed out on quite a list. We had um, Sweet Cheese... No, not Sweet Cheese. Black Anonymous. In chat. Came in with ideas. And then Dear Rain also had ideas. So they came up with a Yababina Miku, which is a whole jump scare, honestly. Um, I did have your school open. I was playing Siege with... Um... One that looks like Baby's first anime. Yes. I know, and, and collectively we decided it'd be funny to have an art style change just for that one. It's in fluorescent orange too. We've also got a Fall Guys Miku, a Domino's Pizza Miku, okay? And then we've got two nice Mikus, and then we've got Battle Cats Miku. Uh, and then we've got Honey Bear, and then Hoshin Miku. And then Muse, uh, Haruka Style, Arifure, Breathe With You, and then Kyokuro, which is an egg. We are having. A time with these Mikus, right? It's great. It's terrible. It's beautiful. Shut up, cats. You're probably about to hear cats cheering with glee because they're getting some food. So if you hear, like, cats going absolutely wild, it's because they're getting a plate of cat food. Like, oh my god, cat food. Thing that I eat. Wowie, zowie. Uh, Domino's Pizza. We're on Domino's Pizza. Uh, which was generously provided on the Discord. Um, which reference image? They've they've sent a couple, which is very useful. That is cute, though. Uh, I'll probably take two for this one. It is from an ad, so I want a full body where I can see her properly. <laughs> During with the emotes. <laughs> um, so like this is like her. I could make her hold a pizza, right? Good question. We could give her a pizza box as a prop. Or we could give her no pizza box and just draw her as she is. So the if people don't recognize her, they have to like invest into finding out who it is. All to find out it's not even a Miku module, it's it's Domino's Pizza Collab. Miku. So so do we Give her a pizza box. Or should I just draw her as she is? Because her design doesn't directly give away that she's pizza girl. <laughs> do we leave no hints? Or do we give her the prop because it's cute? Or like a slice of pizza to hold? This one's a bit subtle. Which... Is still really funny because it's still the concept of, you know, the whole concept of, oh, it's just a Miku. Psych. It's Domino's. <laughs> okay, so she's just front facing again here, so. We'll do the face kind of as normal. <laughs> there are no hints. <laughs> okay. Oh, project Sekai. Sekai audience cube. 
audience cube. I'm curious. Let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, I know, I know. The paper craft. That's amazing. Okay. I have some water that I've not been drinking. I'll have some now. Paper craft is such a clever add on, actually, dear Rain. That's great. You do mean like the little cube? Yeah. Audience cube. I love these. I was obsessed with these at one point. I printed off so many. Like different different characters and different anime characters. I'll write her down. Oh, she's going to be another short one. Darren, I have so many tabs open. <laughs> Your internet browser for like ads and stuff is just going to be Vocaloid. So is mine as well. It's just going to be like just loads of pure Miku. I'm writing down the audience cube. Okay. That'd be 59 with more than 10 new Mikus. This has been a very uh, Miku profit stream, yes? If your paycheck is Miku's, very profitable scream. Stream, not scream. Clearly not living I mean, in America. I mean, they'll probably scream if, you know, what the... What, Yabber, Yabber, Yabberina? They'll probably scream at this point. Okay. Oh, no. I've read what you've put in chat, dear Rain. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hatsune Miku does not speak to British people. Um, I'm typing in the Kurt's words now. Hatsune Miku. Ha. Broom, broom. Yeah. Hmm. Any? Oh. I wonder if it counts. Is it official? Or is it like a fan print? Squeaky, there is a car that is Mikuified, but I don't know if it's an official thing. Because if it's a fan thing, I don't know if it counts. Which one? Car. I think the second one's official. You think the second one's an official Miku fix? Does it count? Does it count? Or is it just like a car with Miku on it? Yeah, it looks like a pre existing design, so I'm assuming it's just a car with Miku on it. Because you've also got like stickies in the window. I'll put that on the back. I'll put that on a maybe. I'm not sure if that would count. Or if it'd count as cheating. But at the same time, it would be really funny if for a frame she was just a car. Scour the cars verse for a Miku reference. I can't. No, I can't just make her cars because then that's me Miku. The rules is it has to be an official Miku, Squeaky. It needs to be like in some way Miku official. Like an actual Miku product or print or something. So I can't just make her Lightning McQueen. As funny as that would be. I'll consider, I'm considering, I'll need to check if there's like an official. If there's an official, then it counts. It doesn't break the rules. What were we doing here? Dominoes? She has a little car. Little, um... To be specific, the Hatsune Miku Jacob Alfredus one. Oh. Have you already done the legwork and found an official Miku car? Let's see.
Hmm. Beep beep, I'm in the Miku car. Googling it now. Go. Yeah, that one. The one with him in a photo posing on the ground in front of the car. Yes, that's what I was looking at. Where I think the car. I don't know if if he commissioned the car or he bought the car and had Miku put on it. Or is this actually like is Jacob like a got a brand or something and collabed with Vocaloid to get an official thing? And also would that count because would it fall under the bracket of like a Miku shirt, you know? I've got the picture you mean. I'm just debating whether it, it would be cheating or not, is all. And whether I can make an exception because it'd be really funny to turn her into a car for a frame. So this isn't quite the turn I expected for uh, requests and stuff on the Miku things, but at the same time, uh, I I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I messed up that ruffle. So pleats and ruffles is really easy once you get the hang of it. Like, these are just being sketched in, so they're a bit rough, but literally you just kind of zigzag like that. And then you draw the lines up on all these points. And then you just need to kind of draw shadow into these sections where the fabric folds. Like, if that curves around. Do you see? And then that might be a skirt. So that's the technique I always use. I remember when I worked it out, how to draw pleats that way. I became obsessed and was like drawing pleats and ruffles wherever I could. Back anonymous, you're back. As you can see, we're onto a different Miku. So do you know what that means? Oh, we're also debating. Does Miku car count? Or would that be cheating? Would it be was it be really funny to turn her into a car for a frame, honestly? But would it be breaking the rules of the game here? Would it be like saying, oh, the official Miku t-shirt, put that on? Because it looks more it's not like it's a car that is turned into Miku like Lightning McQueen style. It's an official car. But I'm worried it'd be kind of like just make putting an official t-shirt on, you know? Dear Rain, I'll be right back. Okay. It's been fun having you here. Have fun. Yeah, we're on to Domino's Miku, which means we've completed Fall Guys Miku. Bring that down a bit. And she's kind of like a... It's an odd cardigan, that thing, isn't it? I need to look at the other ref for that cardigan. Oh, it's a dress! Oh, it's a dress with a boob window. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you sent those references. <laughs> now I know. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any ruffles on the dress, though. And her shoes are normal Miku shoes. Oh, that leg is way too thin. 
But yeah, after this, I can show you the Fall Guy Miku. And it'll be even better because um, it goes from like a tall, normal Miku to the Fall Guy Miku and then back to the tall, normal Miku. Sorry, I had the hiccups again. Do you, does anyone else get that where they kind of like hiccup once sometimes and then it just goes away? It's really weird. And then ruffles, but I'm not being too delicate with them. I just kind of need to know that I want ruffles there. And I think that's the outfit done. She's looking pretty cute, but this eye is kind of going for a walk, isn't it? So we're going to bring that back in. She does have a speaker. Not a speaker, a mic. Quack Anonymous, you should put a little Domino's thing on her hand like those visor thingies. Visor? Oh, Darren, you're back. Hi, welcome back. Uh, me and Darren were discussing that. We, we discussed the idea of do we give her something like a pizza box or a pizza slice and decided not to because, get this, Though it would be really cute for her to have a prop. Um, if we don't include the prop, people won't have anything to go off. And then if someone's like, oh, I wonder what Miku that is, they'd have to try and do research to find it. And it's really obscure, right? Which means they'd put in all that work and find out it was a Domino's ad. And that's funny. <laughs> Which is like the only reason we've not actually decided to give her a prop yet. Snee Miku light stand, excuse me. Oh, Dear Rain left and came back with Snee Miku night stand. Night stand? Okay, I'll look after I've done the hair. She looks particularly cute on this one. Hi, Regeki. My cat's here. But oh, please don't stand on the laptop. Pat. You're making my lines wonky. Yes, stay still. Thank you. Better. And she's got cute little bows. Oh, yeah. Nightstand. Whatever light stand is. Oh, oh! There are so many variations of them, though. Oh God! This one that's designed to hold your PS Five controller and a phone holder. Oh yeah, this like noodle toppers, noodle like I think noodle toppers, noodle topper Miku's too. There's so many different variations. A lot of them are like small business type stuff on Amazon and artist mates. So I'm not sure which one to look at, but they are funny. <laughs> oh, it is. We can potentially give her pizza. It is up for debate. It's just that's the reason she hasn't currently got anything with her. Like we could give her something like a pizza cutter. That would be potentially more subtle as well. I'm making the bows a bit bigger because this particular Miku style is more chibi. So it looks good having like certain things like bows just being bigger than they are. But this particular one is way too big. Oh, that's new Miku Tell Your World. Are you telling her to tell the world, or is that a module? Uh, 
And then her hair, does her hair do anything? Or is her hair just, yeah, just normal thin hair? Cute. Are y'all ready to witness the Fall Guys one? Now it's between, like, two regular Miku sizes. Okay, it is an outfit, dear Rain. Okay. I'll search it momentarily. But we have. Are you ready? So I believe Faye Yen. Ooh. <laughs> There she is, Miku of the universe. It's so sh That's great. We also um, have the paper craft now, Quack Anonymous. So that's another one that's going to be absolutely teeny. So if we go back through. Oh, it's really quick, but when it's in colour. Yeah, she just shrinks. So you get like the jump scare and it's like what happened there and then it's followed by like the flash here like it disappears. It's like no it's, she didn't disappear she shrunk. It's like <laughs> it's quack anonymous it's so small. I can make it taller. She could be taller. Okay oh yeah uh, dear Rain tell your world let me see. I think I recognize that now you mentioned tell your world. Yes, 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 I know this one. Pretty color. Colorful one. She is very, very pretty. Noted at number 60. Got her. Okay, who was next on the list after Fall Guys? After Dominoes. Okay, 10th anniversary, then Marionette, then Battle Cats, Honey Bear Pusheen, Muse Dash, Haruka Arifure, Breathe With You, Egg. Uh, the Papercraft one, and Tell Your World. Hey, Rain, this is what happens when I'm here. I think some beautiful Mikus have come from the stream while well, in your presence. You have brought many high quality Mikus to the table. What did I say was next? 10th anniversary? Yes. Insert the frames and go and get a reference image. I don't know all these. Woo! Tempted to reference the figure. Because there's an endoroid. There should be a silly little Nendoroid Miku jump scare. <laughs> oh, do you mean like to scale little, Quack Anonymous? The Rain agrees with you. Do you mean Nendoroid art style or do you mean like a tiny... We could do Miku Dio. Miku Dio was a Miku that it's an official Miku designed to mock Fake bootleg Miku Nendoroids, I think. That or it's designed to look like giant mascot costumes that was designed to look like a mascot of a Nendoroid and it looked kind of wonky. So Miku Dio is basically a wonky Nendoroid, but it's an official. Yes, Miku Dio. We can put her in. Do you want her to be really big? 
um, or really small. So do you want her to be a big Miku diode? So like she's a scale with the other Mikus? Or a little one like the Fall Guys one? This one has a little star on her tie. That's really cute. Look how speeding through these. Okay, so stay still front facing. So we're going to hold the position on her face. In fact, considering um, anything else that's holding fate place here would be her shoes, I think. So that shoe can hold place, but I think that leg is moving inward. Oh, no, that leg is also holding place. So I can just kind of trace the shape of the last one using an onion skin. That's new Miku with pigtails. There's a little Nendo Miku on the side. Uh, so Miku Dio with like a little Nendoroid with her. That'd be cute. Irene, hey, you've got has new Miku hat with pigtails. I can Google it. <laughs> Just the hat. Do we give Miku a Miku wig hat? Or do you mean just like the, the hat on the floor? Floor hat? I like Nendroids, I think they're cute. Make that a bit longer. Nah, this is looking wonky in it. Now we do that because her hair's starting to like close in around her face a bit. Some of these pieces need to just uh, be adjusted so they're not boxing in her face. Pink sketch in the background isn't helping much. Yeah, that looks a little better. Where'd her last hand go? It only needs to... Okay. They're going down and out. To chat. Just the hat by itself, do it rain. You would just put like a hat on the floor, like this, with like the wig, hat. Could be funny actually. I could put it, put that one in, but not count it as one of the hundred. Potentially, like. And then, and then it does, I don't have to feel bad for it to be technically cheating. There's a really fat tie on the Nendoroid. Her tie is so chunky. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, I'll add, I'll add a frame to put that in on the floor. For memes, I could. Mm. Do I keep all the surprises for part two, or do I go back to the first half and put it in there? 
could squeeze it into the first half and then the first half also has a random questionable moment before they get to this people watching the video get to this part and then they're like Wah! it just goes wild This Miku is so cute. She is. I'm getting used. Oh, it's not ruffles. It's points. It's pointy. No, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be ruffles. It's just because it's a Nendroid. It's been interpreted that way. Because there is a full, full size figure of this, but Nendroids are simplified. She is really cute. This is the 10th anniversary. This was one of Deirain's recommendations, requests. I can't believe at some random point there's just going to be a hat on the floor, or honestly. That's going to make you mic stand. Is that just like a regular mic stand? Or is it like a piece of merch now? Uh, line up there. I want to make that full. Miku Dio appearance as well, honestly. This is great. Okay. Madness comes with great power, dear right? Are you just saying that as a statement? Because after this stream, I can believe it. Um, or is that a Miku? Hatsune Miku. Mike Stan oh, oh oh my gosh guys Fel fellow artists sorry um I just remembered that there's an automaton Wait there is actually a cute Miku that that came up for Hatsune Miku Mike stand but I don't think that's what you meant Um there's an automaton Miku Ika, hello, you just found this whilst drawing Rin and Len. Cute! We're animating Miku. I'm taking requests if you've got a favourite Miku figurine or module or anything like that. Figure, I said figure. I will add them to the list. We're looking for at least 100. Um... We'll go through it nicely, shall I? We've had Dear Rain and Quack Anonymous have put quite a few requests in. So the first half is here. Each frame's a different Miku. I was really winging it when I started, which I kind of regret. I wish I kind of like focused more. So as you can see, they're all different Mikus per frame. And then this little transition screen, and this also has extras on it like Teto and Gumi go past um, and then we're on to part two here where nothing unusual happens at all so they're doing a little Charleston I'll uh, hide the ref so it's a bit less flashy we're currently sketching in a bunch of Miku requests and from this stream so we've got all of these guys and we ended up Pokemon Miku last stream, and currently we've got Orbit, Rock something, nothing unusual going on here, uh, Feiyan, nothing unusual, nothing unusual, and now we're on to 10th anniversary. I'm smiling. Trust me. <laughs> Uh yeah, we got four guys. <laughs> uh yeah, we've we've had some delightful Miku's this stream. We got Domino's Pizza. Uh, uh we're currently on tenth anniversary. If you've got any recommendations, go right ahead and I'll put them in. Um, but this stream we've had a few and ones that are currently in process is 10th anniversary marionette battle cats honey bear pusheen muse dash haruka arifure breathe with you 
uh, Pio Kuru, uh, Papercraft, Hell Your World, and a Miku Dio. It's a lot of Miku. I am debating having a bit in this to collab in non Miku characters like Rin and Len, Luca, Meiko, and Kaito to have the other guys appear. I'm just debating how to have their little appearance in it. Well, I, I'm really glad that the stream popped up whilst you were doing Vocaloid art. That's very cute. You know, um, I did get... It wasn't on the, the last Miku one. It was on um, one of my... Oh, the Ghost Girl animation uh, drawing that I did recently. Uh, the Mimi one. So she... The analytics on YouTube showed me the other videos that tend to get shown alongside it. So, like, if you're watching this live stream now, there might be other stuff in the sidebar. And it was showing me what people were watching when my stuff got recommended, right? Most of it is Vocaloid content. I feel like I've won. I feel like I have achieved something there. <laughs> like, like, my work gets shown alongside Vocaloid, and that was before I did the Miku stream. So it's just like, wow. Goals. I think I've succeeded. I'm done. I can finish now. I can rest in peace. You know? Don't worry, I won't stop though. It's fun. Okay. So, dear Rain, you're saying just the mic stand by itself. The Miku and the Hatsumi Miku tie by itself. Tie is the th oh my gosh. I'll squeeze them in as, like, random in-between frames, but I won't take away from the Miku total because it, it's funny to put them in. But I feel like it would be cheating to take up a Miku spot with them. So I'm going to oversize these a little bit because she's chubby, so it's cuter. And then I'm going to do her hair before I do big bow. So we've got the main shape of her hair. I think that's hidden behind the reference image. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was sad for a minute. I was like, oh, where'd it go? Okay, come here. Quack anonymous with the emotes. Okay. But yes, the whole project um the whole project, the goal is that everything is a request. So it's got a little bit of a community feel to it. I only chose two so far, personally, which was a needs to an end. So I started this a while ago. When I first started, I needed to start by announcing the project, obviously. So I just drew the first Miku, which was just a standard Miku to announce it with, to give an idea on what it was going to look like. And after that, I uh, basically moved into a hospital for a while. So I stopped doing the project because I couldn't. Um, and when I re-announced it, I added um, Selfish Princess Miku. Because, again, I needed something to be drawing whilst I hopefully waited for people to come in with requests. So I did choose to, but I also feel like I didn't choose to. Because it's kind of like saying, I don't know. You know? I'm sure you know what I mean. Okay, and then she has, like, these really cute, colourful tassels in her hair, too. Whee! Oh, I want to do a curly one like this. She's so detailed! Quack Anonymous, won't be talking for a bit. I need to do something, but I'll listen in the background. Okie dokie, have fun. Hey, that's another Miku down. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. I just skimmed back through and I this short, small, small. We've got so many. Micah, 2022 Snow Miku. Or oh, Taito third season Autumn Miku. Good work if you haven't done them yet. I've done. Mm, I've done a Snow Miku. I don't know if it's 2022. I don't think it is. I think it's an old one. I can put both on though. You don't only need one request. You can do as many as you want. I'll start searching them. Dear Rain, I just realized I missed lunch. Dear Rain. Get food. We have a whole Domino's pizza Miku and you've skipped food. Right, you know what I'm going to do? Right. I'm going to put it back on Domino's pizza Miku. Look her in the eyes and go and get yourself some lunch. <laughs> um, 2022 Snow Miku. Oh my gosh, she's wonderful. I was not expecting the red. Usually they're so blue. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the waves in her hair. Oh, oh, she's got a little lobster on her hat. Oh my gosh, the wave hair. I'm going to actually pass out. Oh my gosh. Dear Rain, I can't eat pizza. Is that after the pizza bites incident? <laughs> okay, I'm going to write down that 2022 Miku. No, Miku. The waves in her hair. She's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And the autumn one you mentioned too. I'll put that down. Let's take a look. Hi. So, third season autumn. Miku. I don't think we've got any autumn Mikus. Oh, it's the one with the leaves in her skirt. Yay, so cute. Oh, which, oh, precious. Third season, yes. Okay, I've added them both down. I need to Google them first. Not because I need to go, oh, no, I'm not doing that. They're all, yet. if they're all official in one, some way, then it's a valid request and it goes on the list, which is why Fall Guys is still there. Um. Dear Rain, it's the cheese. It has cheese also. It's past 4.15. So you can't eat pizza after 4.15? Does that mean you can have breakfast pizza then? Uh, scrolling through chat to get that. Miku. Aito. Just writing it down. Okay. Thank you, Aiko. We've got them both. If you have any more, again, feel free. There is no limit. Dear Rain, it's almost dinner time. What would you do if your parents, like, walked in with the dominoes now? so many i'm almost at the end of this one already i'm gonna have to do more frames <laughs> i also have no idea what to do for the backgrounds or how to end this really it's just kind of going well she's really pretty it's giving butterfly i think next might be marionette i think next is on the list um, but Aika, your requests are on the list and they will get drawn. So thank you. Ooh. Okay, where are we? Um, uh, sorry, my brain's having a moment. We're on the 10th anniversary. I was right, I remembered. The next one is Marionette. Dear Rain, I would throw up. I don't pizza. Okay. 
I wonder if Domino's said Domino's is one doesn't actually serve anything other than pizza, do they? Like minus desserts, but I'm not counting counting desserts really. Because it like Pizza Hut, for example. Um, Pizza Hut also do pasta and stuff. So I could because because I was gonna say I could always ask Miku to bring you like a simple pasta with no cheese. Well, I don't think Domino's actually do anything that's not pizza esque, and I only say pizza esque because I think the other thing is garlic bread, but their garlic bread is just a garlic pizza, really. Or at least in the UK, they don't do anything else. Oh dear, ain't oh, my my school made pizza bad for me? Yep, same no more. School pizzas suck, or at least they definitely can suck. Okay, I think everything's holding place currently, apart from her hands and arms. Oh, look at the swirly hair on her. That's so fun. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not even, like, gloating personally. Look, it's on the refs too here. It's not like I'm like, oh, yes, look at my art. I'm like, it just looks so pretty. Miku in general, her outfits just are so good. Most of them. I didn't enjoy this one as much, only because it didn't make a lot of sense on the 3D model. So for this one, I struggled to find reference images for this Miku online, right? And the reference images I did get were really, really small and pixely. So I really struggled interpreting how the outfit looked here. So do you see where it's layered on her chest? So it's like, there's a strap. There's a bit kind of like a jacket. There's a bit kind of like a crop top. There's a bit kind of like a collar. And it was really difficult for me to interpret all this. So even though this outfit is fairly simple... This particular one gave me so many problems. She's cute, though, now she's done. <laughs> gave me so many problems. But yeah, the hair will look a lot prettier when it's done. Like, her sisters before her. Ooh. Sorry, I was just noticing how curly the bits in her hair are. So I really tried. It's like she's got little flower shines in her hair. And then she's got little squares to kind of make it look a bit more digital. It's like, you're not going to notice these when you press play. <laughs> this one will probably get extra little flower shines or strawberries. I could do like little strawberry shapes in her hair. That'd be cute. Hers kind of like has different color in there. So I was told this is the official image for like when they did a manga adaptation of the song. Pokemon. This one. Yes, so beautiful. Look at the beautiful shapes. Look at the lovely, beautiful grills in Peto's hair here. So beautiful. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, once again, look at the beautiful curls in her hair. She's so... Fancy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could do pizza shapes, shines in her hair. Uh, all triangles. Uh, dear Rain, Hatsune Miku Stardew Valley. That'd be cute. Has she actually? Has she actually? Quack Anonymous, I'm pretty sure Stardew Valley's Miku is a mod. Oh, I want to have a look anyway. see her she's cute i'm sure there are 8-bit miku styles that are official though if you can find some form of official 8-bit variation or pixelated variation of miku then you could at least pretend it's the stardew valley miku So we are up to marionette. Hunt. Okay. 
So I believe everything's holding place, including the foot other than her hand. I've said this. I'm just double checking before we go in with details. Okay. We're definitely going to do the mask. So I'll just change that. Should I change it to a point? Yeah, because it's a mask, so it's not a face shape. But then again, it might be interpretable as her face. So I'm going to keep, I'll keep the round. Sorry, I hiccuped again. I'll keep the round shape for now. And what's holding place is her face and her legs. So I'll use an onion skin to hold them. And we'll just keep going now. Dear Rain, Hatsune Miku Pixar. <laughs> Boom, I found one. Is it official though, or is it like fan art? Oops, I just opened up maps. No. Hatsune Miku Pixel. Gib. See, I don't know if any of these are like official. I'll put the word official in. Official. I don't know if they're official though. I could put in. Um, the, it'd, be, it'd be the fan art part of it again. Well, there's nothing wrong with fan art. It's just, again, for the project. For people that are new to the stream. There is Hello Planet. Is it Hello? I think it's Hello Planet has a kind of pixelated music video, I think. Hello Planet Miku. But if I remember correctly, Miku herself doesn't get a very 8-bit dress. But in the music video, she's 8-bit. Look up Hello Planet, dear Rain. There is a pixelated Miku in Hello Planet. The 3D model isn't. Because in the music video, she's given a 3D model and like a weird dress. I don't like the dress. Um, but the official music video for Hello, Ra Hello Planet has a little pixel Miku in it. Uh, let's get rid of the onion skin. We no longer need that. Yeah, the little pointy jester shoes. I'm not sure where to start with this design. There's a lot going on. Uh, big hat. Start with big hat. It's shaped very oddly. It's like the cross between a top hat and a cowboy hat in a way. Like it's not cowboy, but it's not top hat. Like the rim of it is really flat but curved at the end. You know what I mean? You know what I'm getting at here? It's weird. Oh, the big red nose, cute. Terrifying mouth looking. That was bad. Bad. Much better. Dear Rain, there is one without the weird dress, but it's the normal Miku dress. It's a pixel, though. Yes. So I could do that one. Because she pixel. And then you can pretend it's not too. Many, many Mikus. Uh, okay. This was almost a Miku that actually had ears. 
<laughs> Wait, she might actually have a bit of an ear. Wow. Rare Miku with her ears on visible visibility. But small pigtail Miku. These are like messy, chunky pigtails. And then I'm going to save that because like her arm's in the way and she's kind of got big poofy shoulders going on. Need to know these are stripey. Do it. Are we over 50? We are well over 50. Any guesses how many Mikus we're on? Or do you want me to just tell you? We have definitely passed 50. We have, we have hit that goal. Smashed that goal. Easy. There are polka dots on this too. We are on 63. 62 was your guess? 63. So close. We had a guess on 61 and 62. We're 63 in. There you go. You're you're good at guessing how many Mikus have been on the screen. You're also good at suggesting multiple Mikus and cursed Mikus. You found two talents today. Stops. Little crosses on and buttons, pockets, and then she's got really baggy pants too. Um, hello, Naveen. I'm about to sneeze. Sorry, don't worry, I'm muted. <laughs> Hello, Nevin. Welcome. We are animating Miku. I'm currently on marionettes. Yeah, we draw on the channel. I usually draw an anime, um, private, like personal work. Uh, but I am also doing this large Miku project. Do you have any favourite Mikus? It could be a figure, it could be a module. You are very underrated. Thank you. I'm trying my best. But if you are interested, I do have like some animations and stuff on the channel if you want to see those. And I will press play on this in a moment. So much Miku Quack Anonymous, you are correct. So... If we go to part one, we are, so it starts this way. Every single one of these is a request. So I've been drawing them and people have been asking for different Mikus. And each frame is a different Miku and a different request. So it's the same character. So this is the first half. Then there'll be a transition screen here where the white is transparent. So it'll fade in on that. And then we see some extra Vocaloid characters and it'll fade back out to this one, which we're currently working on. Oh, I should probably hide all the references. It makes it hard to see. There we go. So currently sketching them all in. So much Miku Quack Anonymous. So many Mikus, dear. 
so so many we have that one jump scare fall guys another jump scare this one is a subtle one but it's domino's pizza <laughs> miku there is some more miku is currently a marionette I do actually have a lot of other animation as well that I've just not posted. Like I've got I've got an entire pilot for something that I I haven't posted anywhere as well for Gunnias and Onion. Yeah, thank you very much, Navi. Do you have any Favorite vocaloids? Do you like animation or art at all? Okay, that's another one down. So many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, eight. Eight so far. As well as several ones written down. Doing great. Okay. The next one after this was Battle Cats. The next one's Battle Cats. It's Battle Cats Miku. Time has come. This is the way it's like, ah, oh, some two nice normal Battle Cats. Oh my god. I'll press play whilst I go get it. It didn't just pause, did it? No, there you go. Battle cats, Miku, go! Spectacular, stunning, beautiful. She's beauty, she's grace. She is powerful. She is Hatsune Miku Battle Cats. Naveen, what about the Miku for the Thunderbolt? Unless you already did that one. I haven't heard... I don't think I've got anything Thunderbolt related. Thunderbolt Miku. Let's go. Oops. Spell it wrong by accident. Oh my gosh. She's in... She's so cool. Oh, she's so cool. I love that. Look at her hair! That is stunning. That's a great one, Naveen. I'm writing it down. Thank you. Um, Thunderbolt Miku. Amazing. I love her hair. She's stunning. She's so cool. And we are up to this request. So yeah, um, I don't know if I mentioned why you were here, but I uh, I want them all, all to be requests because it, it gives a sense of community. It's fun. And then it's also like I get a little surprise. I also get to see new types of Mikus that I didn't know about as well, which is great. <laughs> Why can't... Oh, it's because the layer's hidden. That's why it isn't pasting. Paste. <laughs> Amazing. She's so round. <laughs> right. Do we include her little friends? He's going to be another small one like the Fall Guys one, though. You all know that, right? This has to be short. There's no way this thing is tall. So she's she's a ball. But she's not a full ball. And then, like, she's kind of like a shape like this. Where do I start? <laughs> Where do I start? Um... I don't know. I'm trying to like look for a bit to start with. I'm going to go with the skirt. Maybe. 
It's probably a bad idea in a way. Let's get some. Sh I'm, I'm trying to like some shapes in. Bearing, yes, add the little friends. Naveen, also, do you know Project Sekai? Yes, I know many Miku games. I have played PlayStation. I have played on the 3DS. I have played Switch. I'm currently playing for the Switch one, although I have played and completed everything on S Plus on Project Mirai for the 3DS. I have way too many hours in that game. Or not enough hours in that game. Okay. Uh I've got such an unusual way of following this this particular Miku to try and like put it together. I need to remember to use really thick line art when it comes to it as well. Because her skirt's really small on this, but the rest of her's really small. I am um, surprised this method of working around is working because like I'm just drawing shapes where I see them. I can't really describe what I'm doing. Okay. That's not terrible. Cook Anonymous, she's so tiny. But yeah, I mean, I do know Project Sekai. Se blah, sorry, Sekai. Do you play it? Cook Anonymous, you're really a fan of the tiny one. <laughs> I mean, I could make it bigger, but the idea of this Miku being tall scares me. So, yeah, it's been little. <laughs> Her arm is so simple. It literally is just kind of like a bell shape, isn't it? You know, there's a lot of detail on this, considering how short she is. She even has um the lines on her collar and the little thing on her chest. The, the yellow square. Naveen, yep. Woo! What's your favourite song on it? I'm currently playing the one on the Switch and I am obsessed with Alien. I'm going to give her a slightly bigger leap because it I find it funny, the concept that she could be trying to get her height back with the leak. <laughs> I'm not really going to... Should I bother trying to make this match the right pose? I really should, shouldn't I? Move her leak aside. I mean, realistically, it's still just a simple. It's just this little arm needs to be down. And I will give her back this leak. <laughs> and this arm just needs to be upwards. That's all. Like that. We're giving her a friends, yeah? Like Anonymous, imagine a really slim and tall Battle Cats Miku standing outside your door at 3am. No! Haunted! I don't want to be murdered in the night by Battle Cats Miku. Imagine her as kind of like a squishmallow, though. That face. <laughs> oh my gosh. It cursed. It's a curse. <laughs> Uh, Naveen, literally, and N25 song, I just love my few years, and my days, voice, N25, I might remember it from the art, I'm going to Google real quick. I know, I, I recognise the art. I know the art, I know what you mean. I don't think I'm up to that bit yet, or I've seen that bit yet. 
Well, there's a nendoroid. There's a nendoroid for. Empty. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. <laughs> Back to the battle cats. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, oh, nendoroids. Wow. Woo! All in one go. That was a nice little uh, hair piece. Okay, she has her mic too. Wait! Has this battle cat got so much detail? It has no business being so detailed. <laughs> it looks like a shield. It does look like a seal. Uh, Nendoroid Hatsune Miku cheerful version. I know, I, I think I know which one that one is. I'll check in a moment. Yeah, can someone tell me like why this has so much detail for a battle cat, honestly? It's funny. They really, they got the license and they were like, take no prisoners. Put in as much detail as you can. We want everyone to know that it is definitely Miku. We want no one to be questioning or saying it could be something else. Directly, it's not a reference, it is her. They got that license and ran. I don't blame them, it looks great. Uh, her other ear, and the other side of uh, that. There she is. She's so small. But she's a bit too high up as well. So I need to bring her down so she's on the same level. There we go. She's tiny. Battle Cats Miku. Beautiful. Amazing. So, so... What's with all the small ones? Okay, go. <laughs> uh, Naveen, have you done Miku from Magical Mirai 2021 or 2023? If not, I'd love to see. Uh, honestly, I don't know how it has so much detail. And by the way, what's your favourite Vocaloid? Oh. Um... Official Vocaloid. I do really like Rin. Um, so out of like the main crew, my favorites are Rin and Niku, depending on the song. For a lot of, I do have quite a bit of a preference for Rin. Recently, I've been listening to a lot of Teto as well. Teto covers, but she's not like she is, but she isn't. After that new voice bank they made. Um, I do like Aya, but Aya doesn't really have many good songs. But she has like two really good ones, but a really pretty design. So I kind of wish she had more more good songs. Quack anonymous! I can't wait to see the cold version. You mean the final battle cat Miku? Naveen, mine personally is Len or Rin. I agree. You can't see me nodding, but I'm nodding. So it's like Rin and Len songs. Lovely. Um, but yeah, Rin, Rin is usually my favourite. Sometimes I do like me prefer Miku's covers of certain songs. But it's like um if you go through like my like Project Mirai on the 3DS, you can change the vocalist of who's singing at each given point. And they're pretty much always set to Rin if I can. Um, okay, so what was listed after Battle Cats? Hold, hold your breath, guys. It, it, everyone, it could be... 
Oh, it's Honey Bear. <laughs> and then after Honey Bear is Pusheen. So I will get Honey Bear or Miku. Honey Bear. She's really cute. Oh, I need to just also um paste. Oh, so small. Uh. There we go. Only that. For a moment, I thought that was a Rylakuma. Uh, Quack Anonymous says that you like Luca too. Luca has a very pretty voice. I do like certain Luca songs. This one in particular, I want to say, but I can only remember the outfit she wears from it and how the song sounds. I can't remember the name of the song. Ugh. I want to say, but I can't remember. I know the icon on it is like a pixel with Luca and it's kind of black and white, but it has some color like pink. Oh, this is a Miku that'll get props actually, because she's got, she's holding them in her hands. So if I can give them a little guy to hold on to, um, so ghost rule. Like, Ghost Rule has little hands as a prop. Uh, Festival has handheld props, like the fan and the apple. Um, Pinocchio P, love it, rabbit here, has the Pinocchio P mascot. And Cryer has her bunny. So I do like to give them little props if I can. But only if it's relevant to the character and only if it doesn't clutter up the design for example for an anniversary miku like she got a little guy selfish princess i want to give anniversary miku here her fort because that's super cute but i'm worried it'll clutter up the design too much i don't want it to get in the way you know Yeah, Luca has quite a few good songs on the Vocaloid game that's available for Switch, the, mu the rhythm game. Oh, how do people feel about Miku boxing? That's one that's... <laughs> it's a little ghostly battle cat Miku at the bottom. Um, Yeah, there's a Miku rhythm boxing game coming out. Oh, we've swapped colour. Uh, did we just make that a darker colour? Uh. Okay. So her head and her face kind of need to hold place again. I feel like a cute little expression like this would work for this though. Um, Is her leg moving yet? Yes, her leg comes down. Okay. The battle cat Miku just haunting that frame, though. Is it like a chubby, like, yeah. It's one of the, it's like a baggy pajama suit, kind of. Oh, no. It kind of just goes poofy at the feet. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so her, her mouth is in front of her hand. And her mouth is also a bear paw. Okay. I know this was one of Dear Rains. 
So we'll keep the big round shape for the hand consistent. <laughs> With the sunglasses emote. Yes. Four of those. So I'm keeping the big round shape instead of giving her full paws to keep consistently, see? But we are going to do it properly. She has a backpack. Quick Anonymous, I'm, I'll probably fall asleep to this stream, lol. Tired. If you need to rest, you can rest. I won't be, I won't be like sad or anything, you know that, right? I do appreciate that you've been here for the stream. And I will stream more of it as well. So my stream schedule is Mon no, not Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Yes. Sorry, I'm a bit tired too. <laughs> And I usually do 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. on UK time. What country are you from, by the way? If you don't mind sharing, I'm just curious. I'm like, are you at night time too? Because it's night time for me. <laughs> oh, that bell is a collar. But if you do go to sleep, good night. Thank you for the Mikus. May you may you dr dream of Alcat Miku and Yababina together. But yeah, I will be doing more of these live. So if you're worried like missing something, there will there will be more still. And eventually, the finished thing will also be posted on YouTube. So a lot of the stuff that I do in stream will get posted either in a long format video when the rest of the pieces are ready, or in a reel. So there's a couple of stuff in reels recently that were both from live streams as well. Uh, Quack Anonymous, I'm from the Philippines, but I'm currently living in Qatar. And it's 2 a.m. <laughs> Dear Rain, 2 a.m. Go to bed. I would agree with uh, Dear Rain, but I am horrible at staying up late at night and going to bed at a decent time. So I have no room to talk, but at the same time, I should encourage good sleep schedules. <laughs> uh. It's like you should you should rest and sleep good. But at the same time, I'm not judging you if you if you're struggling to sleep because I I, I struggle to sleep a lot too. Like I'm a night owl, so <laughs> Oh that eye wonky. Why is that eye falling off? Come back. Go back to where you belong, guy. This hood's actually really cute. You know I've put no thought into what I'm going to do for music for this either. I'm gonna curl these because it's cute. Discord. Naveen. Ah, uh, all right. You should probably go to bed. If you are tired, yes. And if you've got stuff to do in the morning, that's another good reason to squeaky clean on Discord. Oh my gosh! Squeaky! No, because I don't. No! Oh! Squeaky Clean's found Digimon costume Miku where they're like in Digimon costumes, but Miku's dressed like an Ogumon. Why couldn't she be the Gatomon or the Patomon? Rin and Len got the best two. But she's a Nogomon. Okay, I'm putting it on the list, Squeaky. She's still really cute. And it's an android too. There's a Digimon Miku. 
you? Digimon Agumon? I like Digimon. I like Tamagotchi. Pokemon's okay, but the recent games have had me disappointed recently. Gotta be honest. It's like I use I I like Pokemon, but at the same time I'm kind of like, do I like Pokemon? I definitely used to. I enjoyed the Pixel games more. I'm enjoying Pokemon now that I've started replaying some of the older games. Like, I. Sorry, I hiccuped again. I never played Generation 2 of uh, Pokemon. So I recently started playing through that. Should we all start. Should we just start playing bedtime music in the background, specifically for Quack Anonymous, to help them in their, like, 2am hour of need what are her feet doing here is she on her tippy toes <laughs> I forgot <laughs> I skimmed to the next frame over to look for a point of reference I forgot it was a battle cat damn it so now with Squeaky and Naveen's additions, we're up to 65 Mikus. We have done spectacular for Miku collecting the stream. Thank you to both of you. I would like to give Miku her bells that she's holding too. So I'll put those in. And these ones are going to be doing that thing where they're just being held like a Powerpuff Girl holds stuff. And by that I mean they've got no fingers holding onto the item and yet it's in their hand anyway. Powerpuff Girl moment for Miku. Naveen, no problem. <laughs> that, that Thunderbolt Miku is really pretty. I was like, I feel like I've forgotten something. There's something missing off her head, I'm sure. Pigtails. The giant hair. The iconic giant idol Miku hair. Obviously. There we go, more Mikus. And so a blank keyframe again. But yeah, I think this is the latest I've actually streamed. <laughs> Insert more frames. The next one on the list for Miku number three. 53 is cute, but also a meme. It is Pusheen Miku. But, okay, there is actually a human Miku in it, but also a Pusheen wearing a Miku wig, which means we get to draw a cute Miku and give her a little guy. It's a really cute dress. I think that shade of pink is really pretty. So if I now hide the references again. We Go. It's going so well. Dear Rain, how am I tired now? Probably because we were all talking about going to bed. Or maybe it's because you've been laughing. I've found that sometimes when I've been socialising, why did I press pause on that one specifically by accident? Well, when I've been laughing and talking and socialising, 
I found that I can get tired faster. So it could be that. Like you've been I didn't I'm not pausing on that on purpose. Okay. Check disco. Oh. More Digimon Mikus. Are they official though, Squeaky? Are these ones official? Or are they just really cute fun art? Oh, she's actually dressed like the protagonists. I really like what they did with the background in those two. If it's official, the ones where they're in um, onesies that are Digimon themes are official because they're Nendoroids. If this is official art from Bandai or something or Krypton, then definitely it's includable. Hey, you know what I should probably do? Hit save. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit save. Right, so we have a we have acquired one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more Mikus a stream. And a little bit more line art on this one. Absolute jump scare. There's the source material, by the way, everybody. <laughs> there ain't good idea. <laughs> Saving. Yeah, I know, right? It's working so well, though, actually. Leg goes up, leg kicks forward, leg throws up again. Final pose. That isn't even all of it. There's more that needs to be drafted into it. Yeah. Uh, pushing Miku is the next one with cute little dress but it has hit midnight for me over here in the uk so i am going to end the stream here thank you very much everyone for coming uh got a shout out there to squeaky clean and naveen and dear rain and quack quack anonymous for your suggestions for Miku cosplayers uh, not cosplays, outfits Squeaky Lean, do a Miku dressed as the original seven on Discord ah more dear rain, more than 110 Mikus there's a lot of Mikus yeah, thank you everyone for showing up if you want to look at more lives i have got a live stream the last live stream was more miku 100 um but there are other live streams too for art and animation i've also got art and animation just uploaded to the channel as completed projects to watch as in long format and in reels i will be live again naveen bye the stream was awesome glad i found you thank you for joining it was wonderful chatting with you um, today is Friday, so I will be live tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK time. So again, thank you everyone for joining. I've had a lot of fun. I I was worried I wouldn't enjoy this one as much because I stopped doing this when I got sick. And I was like, oh, what if I get bad memory picking it up? But it's been a ton of fun. And I honestly have everyone here to thank for that. So thank you to all of you again. If you're still listening, Quack Anonymous, good night. I hope you manage to get that sleep, dear Rain. Some lunch and rest, maybe? We'll snap. 